Oh man, welcome. Hello everyone. It's Abdallah here, bringing you guys another exciting episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today's episode, we're gonna be blowing up this place. I know it's a sad, it's a sad time. It's a sad time. Look at my guy. He's so afraid and he's so upset. But it's okay. You know what? I've been talking about building this island for the longest time, and ever since dream addresses have been introduced, I feel it's time to actually work on a town that I've been thinking about ever since launch. So, without further ado, I welcome you to episode one of the big, grand reconstruction. Thanks so much for watching. Shout out to Tom Fan, by the way. What's up, Tom Fan? Tom Fan became a member. Uh, a lot of you guys also coming on board with membership. Thanks so much. Uh, if you guys have not already seen that, you guys can click on the join button on my main channel page where there's a link in the description to become a member and you get some pretty cool perks such as our game night, all the emojis and everything like that. We've also been doing some um, some dream visits. Have you guys hands up in the comments if you've seen those? We did a Silent Hill Town, we did a Pokemon Island, we did a Cannibal Island, uh, and I, I did a very, very cool island that I'm going to show you guys on Monday. Um, but anyway, this weekend is about live streams, so let's knock it out and let's have a good time together, yeah? All right. Okay. So, how are we going to do this? <laughs> Ooh, that's the question, isn't it? We got to pretty much get rid of everything, right? Um, things just have to go. That's, that's the first thing. So, I, what I need to do is I need to find out what things I'm going to not need in my storage in order to make room for all the things that are on the island that I want to keep. Right? And then uh, we're going to take a look at all the different flowers. I'm not going to need any of the flowers right now, so we're just going to give them out to you guys. And then maybe later on I'll ask for some flowers back depending on uh, who's out here, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I'm just pretty much going to get rid of any of these items that are reorderable on Nook, um, whatever, like the Nook link. Pretty sure I can get a lot of these things. So, yeah, we need to make room. Study chair, stone stool, don't care about any of the stools, or imperial dining chairs. I just need to make room. And then uh, I'll invite some people over, and if you guys want, you guys can help me destroy and chop down trees and pretty much move things all the way around. I'm totally down for that. Would you guys be interested in coming over? I don't know why I need so many wedding benches. Like, what was the point of that? Oh, I get it, I get it. Wedding bench so that you can kind of make like a little makeshift wedding. Here's a birthday table, a cardboard table. Would you guys like that? That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I would have to make you a best friend. <laughs> Yo, best friend opportunity? Let's go! Uh, no, it'll be super fun. So, uh, we'll, we'll find out what we can do. Yeah, we're gonna... Okay, pockets are full. This is perfect. So, uh, I just pretty much grabbed 40 items that I don't need and I can reorder at any time. And we're just gonna trash them. And by trash them, I mean send them over to Timmy and Tommy's. Um... Uh, I don't really want to walk inside. Like, I don't honestly need the money. So we're just going to go over here and we're going to drop it off. I think some of you guys would get really, really upset if I threw them all in the trash can behind my house. <laughs> so I'm just going to do the next best thing and we're going to get rid of every single one of these. Can I do this while people are over? I think I can. I can. Okay, so let's let's invite some people over. Let's open up the gates. Who's coming? <laughs> we'll take... <laughs> Alright, I need to find out. Who's on my existing friends list that wants to come over and help out? <laughs> Alright, here we go. I don't want to fly, I'm just going to open up. And then we'll hang out with you guys and maybe... Um... I'll, I'll assign, like, duties for people, right? So one person's got to be the flower. Oh, actually, you know what? You know what? Before we do this, I think we have to do one thing. We have to do one thing before we start destroying it. And we have to give the island tour. Right? You have to give the island tour. Thumbs up in the comments if you want to see one final island tour of your favorite island, Science A Nation Island. Yeah? That's, that has to be it. We have to. We have to send it off. All right, everyone. The house is going to be the same, right? I'm not going to demolish my house, right? Everything on the outside is going to go. So, anyway, ladies and gents, I welcome you to the Abdallah Nation farewell live stream to my town where we are going to say goodbye to it. It's been a fun time. It's been a great opportunity 
for tons of tips and tricks tutorial videos, but I feel like I actually need to move on from it. So anyway, without further ado, hit that subscribe button while you're at it and enjoy the final town tour. All right. So, coming up over here, we have the Mr. Rossetti area. Oh, Mr. Rossetti wasn't so uh, treated so well in this in, uh, this <laughs> this Animal Crossing. So we gave him a little shrine over here. He was pretty great. Um, these are the double Audi uh, little poster uh, photos. How did I get two of them? I don't know, man. Audi must have given me two. Um, this was uh, way back in the day when we did the when we stayed up all night. Hands up if you remember. If we stayed up, we stayed up all night getting all of the fakes and real paintings legit. It was so much fun. So I always liked putting those two right over there. Um, these are the bushes that I have on board. Don't look at the weeds. Uh, the bushes are there because I want to see a little bit of how their blooming cycles were. So I kind of lined up one of every bush. Pretty cool. Well, let's see, what do we have here? What do we have here? Uh, really nothing much. Uh, there's my rock. And then this was my little area. Uh, Jess did pretty much all the landscaping over here. As far as the pathways go and all of the little furniture. So a lot of this definitely is, uh, is definitely from, uh, from Jess there. So pretty cool. Yeah, she did a really good job with this. Uh, the little tiger out here. The flowers are a little overgrown. I have not kept up with them in, uh, in a while. But I think they look pretty cool. A little outdoor seating area, a little water well. Pretty good, right? We're going to get rid of all that stuff. Uh, right over here, I put that there. That was nice. Uh, Jess made a little swimming area. Yeah, she did this. This is fine. I can just push it off to the side. We can still do something like that on the beach. Yeah, I like that. All right, what else we got? <laughs> One farewell. There were a couple of spots that I really enjoyed. I love this little seating area uh, that Jess made. It was pretty nice. So you can kind of look out towards the ocean. So that was cool. A little sand castle. Really good. There's Octavian. Uh, we, oh, I used to have my jukebox over here, but it's a, it's a traveling jukebox. So This was amazing, by the way. I don't know how she did it. I think she downloaded some patterns online, and she was then able to make like a little raised 3D-looking deck. Uh, which reminds me of Mexico when uh, when Jess and I were in Mexico. That's good. Uh, we'll definitely keep that. Uh, these over here, pretty cool. Little ice cream, little shaved ice section. All right, yo, you're trying to get that dragonfly. Sorry, Audie. All right, so that's the bottom half. Really, nothing special going on over here. I picked up all my wands, <laughs> and then um, we have these things. I have the Mayday hole. Do I still have the Mayday hole floating around over here? No, I think I filled it in. This was the the homage to the first crown spinning. I'm going to make a museum of all the cool glitches, and it'll be exactly like this with the um, the very cool fencing around it. So stay tuned for that. We've got the turtle bodyguards too. <laughs> Better watch out, man. Uh, these were the ninja turtles we fished up during that one stream. Didn't have the heart to let them go. This is my uh, my orchard. Of course, we all outgrow orchards. It's gonna happen to you, trust me. Um, these are all four, this is my living decks of all of the creatures that we actually had. So I was very excited to put them all out on display. Just kind of paying homage to the late, late 11 hour stream where we caught every single one of these creatures live in front of a YouTube audience. So I decided to leave my living decks right over there. Um, these were a lot of fake portraits. Uh, I, I just like them. They're they're relatively fun. I thought they were exciting. So I'm gonna have to pocket all of those. And then the fake statues, etc. They were really cool. I like them a lot. Um, here's my little shrine to Boldman. Uh, this is Gizmo. We'll definitely keep the Gizmo shrine because that's not really doing anything like on the actual area. So we'll, we'll keep that over there. We love Gizmo. Uh, here was a little picnic area that Jess made with a little alien that just uh, overlooks the area. So very cute. Um, there's our campsite from ages ago. Uh, I think there's only one or two more things I wanted to show off, and then we're just gonna get to work. All right, there's my makeshift bridge. Uh, here's a little bamboo grove. Oh, Jess actually worked a long time on this. <laughs> yeah, making this little area, like a little outdoor little cafe with some coffee and some hot chocolate and a little hot spring there and a swing and some bushes. Yeah, I think she did a really good job. 
little stairway upwards over here. Oh yeah, Jess's outdoor uh, library. Oh man, she's gonna be upset. <laughs> Yeah, goodbye. The outdoor library was actually really cool. I love this a lot. It was nice. With the trees in the background, it looks very, very cool. Um, little rainbow water fountain was cute. Rainbow water fountain was cute. She needed, she was like, oh, do you have any like orange mums or black tulips? I'm like, no, I don't have flowers. I hate flowers. Anyway, this is the dog park she made too. So the dog park's gotta go. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of all this stuff today. We're gonna pick all the weeds. We're going to landscape it all. It's going to be a flat, flat land. It's going to be insane. Anyway, so uh, yeah, and then there's a crafting table all the way up there if we wanted to. So anyway, that's kind of what we're doing here. Uh, that's exactly it. That's the tour. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the little say goodbye to everything. So now what we need to do, oh my gosh. Now we need, what we need to do is uh, pretty much just get everything out of here. It's all gotta go. Especially Flick, he's gotta go too, man. No one likes that kid. He was cool at the beginning, but now it's just like, ah, kind of boring. All right, here we go. So, if you want to visit my town, the dream address is still there. I haven't updated the dream address, so you'll still be able to do so. All right, let's, uh, let's invite some peeps. All right, here we go. Want to fly? No, I want visitors. And then um, I'll just invite some people over. We'll get people on chopping down tree duties. Um, or if you want to transplant the trees, whatever. We'll get people on relocating flower duties, weed picking duties, whatever anyone wants to do. I need, I need some volunteers. I don't think I could dodo and then like make people best friends, so we're just gonna open up the gate and then we'll see who wants to come over. I don't honestly remember who I have added, but maybe someone will show up. Okay, so we need someone on... Ooh, there's a couple things that we need people on. It's tree chopping? And then flower digging up. Okay, we need a tree chopper. We need a flower dig. Because here's what I want to do. Like, people like flowers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just collect all the flowers and put them in front of the bushes. Okay, so Bev's coming over. Uh, Bev, tell me what you want to do. <laughs> Chopping down trees is fine. You may need some tools. So whatever kind of flowers, I'm thinking we just grab all the flowers, we fill up the in front of the town hall with all the flowers, I dig them out, 20 at a time, and then I go to some visit, visit some people's dodo islands, and then I just drop off the flowers as like a parting gift of like, hey, I got a flower from Abdallah's like first island. All right, what's up, Spring? Hey, time to throw a bicky to this island. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm uh, I'm really excited to see where where we can turn this island into something cool because you know it's like I love doing the science videos and stuff like that but like the science is kind of all done I can still make science happen on my new island so we'll see and nothing's coming out in Nintendo anytime soon outside from like the Pikmin game so yeah there's really nothing else so I figure you know what am I gonna do we're gonna run out of cool islands to visit right <laughs> we gotta find some really good dream addresses, right? I wanna find some more cool dream addresses for sure. If you find any really good ones, please let me know. Twins other half, BWA. Alright, we got two people on board. <laughs> Who wants some flowers, though? Is that a valid thing? Some of you guys actually want my flowers? You let me know if that's a thing. Otherwise, I'm just going to like sell them to Timmy and Tommy. We're just going to sell them. Hello. 
Okay, so the next person that comes, uh, just let it be three people. I don't need more than that. So if you didn't make it in, please do me a favor and don't try again after this next person. Three people is good enough. I don't know who the third person is, but... <laughs> Can you please just stop trying to get in after this person? No, no idea who it is. What's up? Hey, Carly! I was looking forward to talking to you, Carly. <laughs> What's up? Welcome back. Carly, I missed you last time. You don't even know how much I wanted to tell you about all of the fun Filipino items that I got from v uh, Valerio's. <laughs> Welcome. We've been to Valerio's twice. We had Holo Holo, which is amazing. We stocked up on Mogu Mogu, which is my new favorite drink. It's not only drinkable, but it's chewable. We found something called Boy Bawang Cornic, which was like some like really crunchy like corn snack, but they don't have it anymore. So we got stuck with corn bits instead. And then like we literally got every type of ube item under the sun. It was cool. Okay, please, I wanna try to close these gates. We got three people on here, and I swear if one of you get disconnects, it's over. <laughs> All right. Let's go Dal Merch. All right, all right. Welcome. All right, let me close these gates. All right, we got some duties. Chopping down trees, transplanting flowers with a shovel, and picking weeds. That's really all I need help with. I'll take care of all the rest. Um, you guys can do whatever you want out of those things. Feel free to chop down all of the... Um... Please close the gate. Please feel free to chop down any tree you see. Even the trees on the, um, on the shores. Like, we don't need those. All of the little palm trees, they've got to go. Okay. Can you take some pink hyacinths? Yes, feel free. Other than that, I want to give as many flowers as I can to everyone. Um, so if you want to take a couple of those home, feel free. Sure, go for it. Um, let me let me go get some money to get my, my little workers paid here. <laughs> so get started. A garage sale? I don't know if we're going to do a garage sale. I'm out here just like tossing my stuff. Money trees, get rid of them. Absolutely. And yes, those were all money trees. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Don't look at my... Don't look at it. Don't. Just don't. Don't be rude. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway. The P you drew a Pikachu on my board? I think those things get pushed off. I think those things get pushed off. I don't know. Alright, I hope you guys have enough room. I'll just do a little stash right over here. You know, we should have had like one more person come in. All right, so there's a million bells. Enjoy. There's one. You gotta pay him, right? <laughs> yeah, get rid of all the weeds, get rid of all the trees, get rid of all... Well, don't get rid of the flowers, but dig them out and then replant them in the middle because I want to give them to all the viewers that are watching right now. And then uh, I'll grab a dodo code from one of you guys a little bit later. Cool. Um, you can leave, you can actually dig out all the bushes too. 
all the bushes that are around, minus the ones up front, like leave those, because I'll dig those out myself. So leave those there, and then we're all set. So leave all the bush. You could take like all the other bushes outside of like the row of like 12 that I have over there. I, I like those still. Okay, that's great. Okay, you guys keep up with that. I'm going to, I can't pick up things, right? Yeah, that's lame. That's the lamest thing about Animal Crossing. And please, uh, yeah, transplant this Lily of the Valley. Get that thing out of my face. Remember when people were convinced that those had some, uh, <laughs> some powers of, like, super breeding? I wanted to believe so bad, I really did. But it's just a little trophy flower, it really doesn't do anything, so. I'm just gonna come out here, I'm gonna be emptying out the interior of my, um, like all this junk I don't ever need, I just randomly picked it up. I can always, like, reorder it, too, that's a thing. Yo, body bag. <laughs> body bag. Oh no. Ah. Wait, wait, what? I don't know. Whatever. Oh, ooh, I love the simple panels. Oh, I'm going to use so many simple panels. You have no idea. We're open. Look at my obsession with floor lights. <laughs> Actually, what I did was I I liked the floor lights a lot because it was never in a, a previous Animal Crossing. So I like them. I thought they were really, really exciting. Um, so whenever I tried to unlock the, uh, the app of Nook Shopping, you had to like order X amount of things from Nook Shopping and then you get the app on your phone. So once I did that, like I'm just like, all right, fine. Five floor lights. It's super easy. I'll just buy them, right? So, like, I just kept on having floor lights and floor lights and floor lights. I'm like, ugh. Why am I going into Jess's house? I don't know what that says. Sorry. No, there were not, uh, uh, Chrysia? Chrysia? There were, there were not floor lights in New Leaf at all. That's why I was just so, like, astonished. I still remember before Animal Crossing New Horizons came out, I was able to play it at PAX um, with Nintendo, and uh, I was given a tour of the area, and like I saw the floor lights, and I said, what the heck is that? I'm like, oh, that's floor lights, little hockey pucks. And I walked over, and I picked one up accidentally, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that I could pick them up. And she's like, oh, that's okay, don't worry, just put it down. And I put it down in the opposite spot of where it used to be, so... See you later, floor lights. It was a good investment. Oh, forgot one. All right. So I wonder how the team is doing out there. We have three people on the job while I'm out here cleaning out my interior. Ah! Take it, kid. Take it, little one. All right. Like, the bugs and, like, all these critters, I'm completely going to just move to the beach. We're just pretty, we're gonna move everything to the beach. Everything's gotta go to the beach. All right, do we need to enlist the help of one more person? How we doing? Yeah, there we go. See, you got the right idea. Wait, where did the bushes go? Who's not listening? <laughs> I just said, I said, leave the bushes there. Leave the bushes in the front row. Oh my gosh. Yo, replant those bushes. Who did that? Forget it, man. Forget it. Don't worry. Whatever. Listening is a skill. Don't worry. <laughs> Listening is a skill. Don't worry. <laughs> Whatever. I'll, I'll get new bushes.
Man, I gotta I gotta find somewhere to hire some good help, right? <laughs> Yo, you're fired. Get out of here. You're lucky I can't choose who exactly that was who did that. You're fired. They're like, oh, wait a second. Uh, I'm supposed to be listening to this stream? Oh, I thought I was just here to hang out. I saw your, I saw your uh, island open up. <laughs> what if? I'm just messing around. It's okay. Things I don't need. A utility sink. A toilet cleaning set. Oh, I love the plain sink. That's actually one of my favorites. Cypress plants? Nah, no, forget plants. Boxes? Nah, no, forget those. Oh, the skeleton. Oh, man, we're going to need the anatomical model for sure. Oh, you better believe we're going to need that thing. Uh, TV camera. Cool. Get rid of it. What is this thing? A flashy flower sign? Uh, I don't know. A stop block is lame. A space shuttle is lame. Utility pole is lame. These barrels are lame. We'll reorder all this stuff, so don't you even worry. Papa Panda, go. What's the new island theme going to be? Oh, you'll find out. You'll find out. It'll take it'll take some time and dedication, but we'll we'll do it. There we go. Okay, put out all those plants. <laughs> Man, it's like I got to I got to micromanage. <laughs> You're putting the bushes back. You better put them in seasonal order, guy. You better put them in seasonal blooming order. I want to know. I had two of each. <laughs> uh, they had. They were honestly in seasonal blooming order. That was. Uh, we figured it out. Uh, the Avengers uh, painstakingly figured out when the blooming order was. So you better jump online and find out who's got the blooming order of which ones. And they were also in alphabetical order too. Because, you know, when I do my tips and tricks tutorials, some of you guys appreciate that some of the things are in alphabetical order. So I had it all set up and ready to go. So I'll give you a moment to figure that out. And I'm, de I'm, I'm deducting it out of your pay, too. Give me that million bells, man. <laughs> I'm deducting it out of your pay. No, I'm kidding. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> were the hybrids in alphabetical? Oh, of course they were. Everything's in alphabetical order. Everything. No, I'm just messing around with you. Whatever. The bushes don't matter. I'll get some more bushes and then I'll redo it. Uh, anyway. I'm just kind of dipping out. I need to make space. That's the thing. Like, I've been honestly taking every single thing that I've been having and I've just been, like, collecting it. Like, I don't need to collect all this stuff. Are you guys like that too in Animal Crossing? Do you guys have, um... I kind of want that shell fountain. Do you guys have a lot of junk in your inventory that you're just like, oh, maybe I'll use this, oh, maybe I'll use that. Like, do you guys have a lot of that stuff? Or am I the only one that, like, hoards onto mass amounts of nonsense? And then I found out, like, the... Oh, I want the Dell mug. No, I'm not gonna get rid of that. And then I found out, like, hey... There's actually a storage limit. And then the moment I found out that there was a storage limit, I'm like, oh my gosh. I've been carelessly doing this for the longest time. Like, I need to get rid of things, right? We have a catalog for a reason, right? Pop-up toaster, goodbye. Uh, hey, love wax scent. Hey, so good to have you. Thanks so much for coming as a member today. Love wax scent. I do love wax scent. Thank you. Pockets are full. I'm going to get rid of that Dell mug, though. Oh, gosh. Yeah, but what if you need six termite mounds? Like, but what if you need it? <laughs> That's so funny. That's exactly how I felt. I'm like, but what if I need all these things? Like, no, then you just reorder them. And then you ask around with your friends and you tell your friends, hey, I need six termite mounds. Like, who's got them? 
Or you just time travel back to uh, the stupid bug tournament when you needed to get those dumb items. The bug tournament's so lame, man. And they what? They repeat it like five times a year? Like, what is their problem? I guess it's fine for people who didn't join in uh, fast enough, right? How are we doing on trees, though? Fifty three K. Good, you need another axe. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, you're chopping. Oh, that's a that's a strategy, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> I would say what's I don't know what's more efficient. I'll help chop some stuff. Like eating a tree or eating a eating a cherry or something like that digging it out and then selling it versus just chopping and then digging. I don't know what's more efficient. Whatever, I'll buy some axes. Alright, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna buy a colorful shovel. I got one. Here we go. A colorful shovel, yes. And then I'll throw a couple axes out too, in case people need some. All right, here, I got you some stuff. Drop. Drop. Shovels and axes, enjoy. Talk to me about those bushes. <laughs> Probably in order. <laughs> okay, I'll keep my bushes there. That's fine. Oh, there's a little fossil that turned up somewhere. All right, how we doing? Chopping out some trees. All right, I think I think we need to uh, get one more person involved. Do we have another person on my list that wants to join? We got to get rid of these trees still. And transplanting all these flowers, we gotta get them out of here. Alright, yeah, there's a lot happening. Oh, there's a lot of flowers up there, too. White? I mean, no one really wants the white flowers. Or the white and yellows, like... I'll just give them to you guys as a keepsake. What in the world is this? Oh, okay. I mean, I could use stacks of fruit. I'll take the stacks of fruit. In case I need them in the future for some reason. Yeah, give me that fruit. I'm like, what happened? What is going on? Alright. Amber Hale, coming on board of the mushroom tier. Hey, what's up, Amber? Welcome, welcome. So glad to have you. Everyone, warm welcome to uh, Amber. Hello. Clean up later. All right. Yeah, I just want this stuff. Mm. Fruits! All right, so I got the fruits in my pocket. I will store the fruits because you can 10 stack them. So, I, I mean, I might need fruit to, like, chop down things. and So I'm going to keep that. All right, um, I think I'm going to open the gate one more time for one more person. Because we got to go a little quicker if I'm going to be doing this. Someone messed around with bushes. Uh, hey, what's up? What's going on? Miss Loki of Asgard. Oh, I love um, Loki and Thor. Those movies were awesome. All right, let's, uh, let's get rid of some other things. Yeah, let's go do that. Hey, welcome, Miss Loki of Asgard. What was the best Thor movie? Everyone in the comments, go. The best Thor Thor movie was... Did you guys like Ragnarok? I think that was a fun one. The first one was really good. I think a lot of people like Ragnarok. I'm trying to remember. Alright, let's get one person. First come, first serve. Hmm. <clears throat> 
Uh, someone name all the Thor movies for me. The first one was Thor. Second one was uh, I don't remember. Dark World. Dark World, huh? I don't. Re I probably I've seen them all. I don't remember it though. Makes me want to watch them all over again, right? All right, I'm waiting here for one person. Do we have confirmation? Yes, we do. You didn't like Fat Thor? Fat Thor was awesome. <laughs> Dark World was the second one. It was beyond boring. So people didn't like Dark World. Interesting. Lucky Lass, Romy. From Clover Bay. Let's go. Yeah, so I guess the consensus with all of you guys watching right now is that the second Thor wasn't so good. I really have to go watch them all now so I can agree or disagree with you guys. Like, I don't know. I remember Loki was cool. And then who was the who was the female love interest of Thor? She was um I forget her name. She was in the Star Wars movies, wasn't she? Like the supporting actor next to Thor was what's her name? No, like her real name. Natalie Portman. Yes, thank you. Natalie Portman. I love that yeah, she's awesome. Natalie Portman's great. All right, <clears throat> we got some stuff to do. I'm gonna go get some money to get you paid. Actually, you can take your cut out of Tyra's. <laughs> ah. Oh, anyway, you can take your cut out of Tyra's, um, and then we'll go from there. Her name was Jane and not Natalie Portman? Oh, is that right? Got it. Just kidding. No, you'll all get paid. It doesn't matter. Tiffany Gibson, hey, welcome, welcome. What's going on? Hey, good to see you. Thank you so much for coming on board. Everyone, warm welcome. Ironing set, humidifier, a cordless phone. Whoa, a cordless phone. You better watch it. Libra scale, beach ball, a bottled ship. Oh, I like that. Yo, the film projector in the creepy towns is always a nice touch. Absolutely. Throwback wrestling figure? No thanks. These things are silly. A magic kit! Whoa! A doll? No thank you. Board game? Nope. What is this? A plasma ball? Oh, that's the thing you put your hand on when you were a kid in like the 90s. The gnomes, man! The gnomes! You know what? I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna keep the gnomes. I might give all the gnomes away to one of you guys, though. These things were annoying, though. I keep three of each of them. Because you never know when you're gonna need them, right? <laughs> you never know. Why do I have two Judy's posters? Get them out of here. Race for Judy. Get out of here. That was trash. I gotta find that gnome. I'm gonna keep the gnome. You don't know me. Remember that? You don't know me. Oh, it's so funny. Football judges bell. Garden gnome. Yeah, that was uh, that was a thing. I gotta get some money. The gnome. Yeah, don't look at my Raymond frame pictures either. <laughs> no one keeps Peach Baby. Oh, you want the Judy poster? All right, that's cool. Where is it? This is a, a keepsake from Crunchy Island's uh, RNG-based <laughs> Judy. <laughs> Race for Judy. What happened in that one? Someone remind me. I got screwed over by RNG again.
You gotta remember. <clears throat> anyway, what is this? A bottled ship. <clears throat> All right. So I think my entire storage is looking good. I think I need to go through like one more pass through it because I got a lot of items that are on the overworld that I do want to keep. I do want to keep. So let's do this. Uh, and I don't want to have any doubles of this wallpaper. Like, uh, I think I kind of culled through the floorings and the wallpaper. Like, I like these a lot. They're good options to have. Like this. Wedding rug. Yeah, that's kind of exclusive. Bug Alola shirt. Or Aloha shirt. No, thank you. Remember collecting clothes? Did you guys do that? Did you guys, uh, you guys still collect clothes from the game? I definitely don't. Full body tights for some reason. I don't even know what the heck those are. I gotta get rid of... What is this? Like, superhero N? Uh, Deceptric. Hey, Deceptric13, welcome. So glad to have you. Royal crowns? What do I need those for? Nah, I'll throw them in the trash behind me. <laughs> Pompadour wig? How many, why did I need three of them? Turbans were kind of cool. Gas mask is kind of cool. Socks? I don't even wear socks. Just taking up my space. They make your socks go missing in the dryer. Do any... Hold on, hold on. Hands up in the comments. If you actually pay attention to socks. Like, ah, oh, you just wear your shoes. Like, no one pays attention to socks. What is this, bug cage? Get this out of here. No one pays attention to socks. I'm just going to put it out there. Like, oh yeah, I change my socks every day. In Animal Crossing, you honestly do. You're like, I think I'm going to wear these socks today. No, you don't. You're just saying that. Mom's knapsack? No way. Yeah, I think you're just saying that to prove a point. I don't think, I don't believe so. Shoes, yes. Right? You change your, your shoes. Got it. Socks? I don't think so, man. That's the weirdest thing. Some of you guys do. I think it's a small percentage. And only the vocal people right now are being, like, super vocal about it. <laughs> Socks with sandals. No thanks. Ugh. You know, I, I accident... Uh, I was gonna go out for a walk the other day. And I had socks on, and I had sandals on. Uh, and Jess goes, you're wearing that to go out for a walk? And I said, yeah, it's just a like, walk around the block. She's like, no. <laughs> I'm like, ah, yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe I shouldn't. What in the world? Okay, so we got some good flowers over here. Our flowers are looking good right now. Taking all the flowers from the top areas and all scattered around and putting into one spot and then we're going to do a dodo code and I'm going to find you guys. Socks with sandals are only a tourist look. Ugh. But do you want to look like a tourist ever? Do you ever want to look like a tourist? I heard that that's like the worst thing, right? Because if you're in another country, you look like a tourist with your cam your fancy thousand dollar camera around your neck. Um, yeah, something bad could potentially happen to you. So you just gotta low key blend in. Life lessons with Abdallah. <laughs> oh no, right? Yikes. When you were a lifeguard, people wore socks in the pool a lot. You know, I can see that though, right? Because like, last thing you want is like to pick up a random bacteria on your feet. You end up getting warts just by stepping all over other people's nasty feet. Oh, and if your if your skin is more susceptible to warts, that's even the worst. So I can see that, right? Foot protection, man. That's that's no joke. But, um, yeah, it's, um, it's weird. It's weird. I've never seen, when I used to go to, go to pools when I was a kid, um, 
Yeah, I've, I don't ever remember seeing people with socks at a pool. Hands up in the comments if that's you. There's no judgment. Like, I can care less. Uh, but socks in a pool. Socks in the shower, too. Like, do you just not trust the the flooring? Like, you didn't clean your, your floor of your, your bathtub? And it's nasty and you don't want to get, like, bacteria? Like, I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, weird. Yeah, wet socks are pretty bad. Like, whenever I go out for, like, a walk or something like that, and Jess and I go out, um, go out to the, like, to a, a forest preserve or something, and there's, like, a little creek, I, like, I'm like a ninja, like, jumping around and making sure that my feet do not get soaked, because, like, walking around in those, uh, nasty socks. Ugh. What the heck is a town backpack, and why do I have four of them? And why do I have all these umbrellas? Remember we came across an island where someone wanted to collect all the umbrellas? That's oh, cool. I just don't need doubles of these things. And look at this. Oh my gosh, why do I have this? Am I waiting for what's his name? Rainbow Stags? Why? Am I waiting to like turn these in at one time? <laughs> what am I doing? Look at this. Sea bass. Really? Really? Okay, cool. As if I can't look at me hoarding right now. Sea bass. Great. Olive flounder, me trying to get these uh, little things. I'm never going to do that, by the way. No way. The dabs. I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll just hold three of each of them, and then maybe when I uh, come across what's his name, um, I'll be able to sell them to him, right? No. That'll never happen. <laughs> do you guys do the same? You have three of each of them in your storage? Oh, my gosh. I know I'm not the only one. And, yes, I'm making fun of us. Because we are cut from the same cloth, you and I. What are slingshots for? Oh! I need my golden slingshot! No! Get this out of here. I need axes. Uh, these wands are pretty cool. I don't need the bug wand. I don't need the fish wand. I do need the bunny day. Oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> okay, uh, we're moving on. Um, we have some starts. Like, what am I doing with these bagged flowers? Like, get out of here. Why, what do I possibly need these for? <laughs> oh, man. Yo, Bunny Day's the best, man. I will still say this very day. How you guys doing with flowers? You guys good? <laughs> Judging Dominicans because you wear socks with sandals, that's part of your clothes code? No, there's no judgment, man. <laughs> that's just not something you do around here. I tried to go out in socks and sandals, man. <laughs> uh, good times, though. Thank you for the super chat. Some of you guys wanted these wands? I don't, they're just fish and bug wands. These are the trash wands that anyone has access to if you play this stupid event. <clears throat> Tell me more about the clothes code. Tell me more about the clothes code in the Dominican. I'm, I'm going to need a little bit more context on that. I don't honestly know what you're talking about. Like, you are not allowed to go outside with with bare feet and sandals? I mean, putting socks on when you wear sandals, you're protecting your feet from getting all dirty and nasty. Trust me, I went to the Indiana Dunes, and I wore sandals for a majority of the time. Uh, because the sand over there is just so amazing, right? So the sand was really nice, and I'm just, like, walking around in sandals, and, like, by the end of, like, the 10-mile walk that we did, like, honestly, my feet were completely covered in dirt, and I couldn't get that dirt off for, like, three days. Three days of showering and scrubbing, I could not get them off. So, socks and sandals is legit smart, so there's that. I need all my materials. Yeah, I need my raw materials. I don't need these dumb fossils. Man, you know, I might just drop off fossils in someone's town. Like, I don't need that stuff right now. If I'm going to try to build something, then I'll ask for the pieces, right? Oh, 
what are these? Oh, these are just starts for the uh, the bushes, right? I don't need bush starts, man. I got those bushes. They're out of order. <clears throat> I'll keep the bamboo. Uh, I don't need three vaulting poles. I always come back with a vaulting pole whenever whenever I come from Crunchy Island for some odd reason. Wonder why. I don't need flimsy nets. Alright, we looking good? I'm gonna take a quick spin, see how everyone's doing. Bushes! Weeds, that crunchy pole, life you. What? <laughs> what? Diana! Diane! Oh man, chopping the trees and cleaning up later. Alright, this is looking, it's looking pretty good so far. These bushes have gotta go, feel free. Man, you guys are killing it. Yo! Alright, yeah, things are looking pretty good so far. Ah, uh, that's a vaulting pole. Whoa, it's completely empty. Where'd the trees go? Ah. Okay, those bushes, these all of these bushes can go too. Like, And then all those flowers in the top area there can go. Oh my gosh, there's Jess's library. All of these little items can go if you want to take them home, feel free. Yeah, things are things are turning out. Things are turning out. Good. All right, there's Stonehenge for some reason. All right, this island is absolutely getting blown up right now with extra explosions. Right? That's how the explosions sound. All right, yeah, things are looking good. I'm just gonna keep on cleaning out my stuff. And selling my stuff, and then we're gonna go. Um. <clears throat> Why can't I sell the other things? Oh, because they're equipped? I see. Alright, all this stuff's gotta go. Goodbye. Today's total, 362,000. No thank you. Put that away, kid. Alright, here we go. We're going to clear the favorite. Clear the favorite. Why did it get auto-favorited? Who told you to program that in the game? Why? I have an extra. I want to sell it. We're going to allow you to put a great white shark inside this bin. But a vaulting pole? Oh, no, no, we will not accept that. Like, okay. <clears throat> you gotta come into the store and we'll, we'll tell you about that. Yeah, all of Jess's yard flowers, too. All that stuff has gotta go to the front. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, gigantic amounts of flowers and fossils. Okay, this is looking good. This is gonna be a couple of fun trips at the very end of the live stream once I'm done uh, plowing through everything. All right, yeah, oh, all these trees are done too. And nice and cleaned up. That's right, look at that. Cleaning up? I think we're almost done. I think we just have to clean up all the random stuff, and then we're pretty much there. Okay, so there's a couple flowers over there. Uh, I'm gonna go continue to empty out junk that's inside my area. I should have at least 500 slots free to put all my artwork in, to put all my creatures in, all of that stuff. So yeah, I don't, I don't wanna, let me take a look really quick. 1260? Yeah, I've got a lot. I mean, I can do one more sift through here just to make sure that um, I've taken out everything that I like don't need. 1260 is a lot of things. 
bamboo stools. Like, what is this, a mermaid chair? Oh, dude, don't talk to me about mermaid stuff, right? Did you guys collect all the mermaid stuff? If you did, good job. Luna's, double Luna's bed? Where did I get two of those? I don't know, man. Team Rocket! <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> I walked over, I'm like, what is, what is this rocket? I don't know, I guess they wanted to go to Mount Moon with a rocket, didn't they? What are these? I like these little lamps. The lamps are kind of cool. I don't think I need all these. The little tiki torches are kind of cool. Drum set, xylophone. Marimba, the wedding lily record player. Oh, there's a jukebox, yeah. I like the, that's actually my favorite music playing thing. A jukebox and the bamboo speaker. What do you guys think? Rock guitar, adios. Silver mic, adios. Anatomical model, we're keeping. One more sift through here. A chalkboard, don't need. A victory flag, don't need. Don't need this, don't need that. Yeah, the phone box. The blue one is actually high demand, right? <laughs> the blue one. Any guys Doctor Who fans out there? Cat Tower. Ooh, I love Cat Tower. Don't love it that much. Foosball? <laughs> I don't love it. Hey, that's, uh, okay, I'll keep that. Train set. Cat tower and the cat hour. Okay, that was good. <clears throat> that big TARDIS. I forget. Someone actually gave me the TARDIS. Like, because I'm like, oh, I want the blue one. Right? Okay, so here we go. And then I'm just gonna go around picking up stuff while you guys are doing that, and then we're done. We are pretty much done. I have to go through and I have to clear out everything. And I can't pick up all my stuff unless I kick you guys out. Jennifer gave me the blue one. Jen. Oh, okay, cool. All right, picking up. <laughs> Clean as you go, man. C-A-Y-G. You guys ever hear of that? I think Romy is the only one Im uh, implementing C-A-Y-G. <laughs> that was a thing uh, back in my old job. Back in my old job, it would be, I would be pissed if people did not uh, clean as they went, right? It takes one person. What are you doing? Let's go. Clean as you go. All right. Trap behind the fence. What are we talking about here? Where's your name? Why is your name over here? What? All right. Whatever. Here, I'm taking the stuff. Yoink. A lot of flowers. All right. All right. Yoink. Piece of wood. <laughs> where are Marco? What are you talking about? Where? Rossetti? What piece of wood? Oh, that piece of wood? Ha ha. Yeah, you can't get over there. I'll grab it later. Whatever, that's kind of funny. Soft lock. How did it get over there? Oh, weird. It's like it just hopped. It uh, had a mind of its own. Alright, I think we're good. I think this whole area is good. What is this over here? A cherry? I saw that. You were cleaning. I gotta destroy. Oh my gosh, I gotta destroy a lot of things. You guys are gonna show me how to destroy stuff, right? Destroy the... I think you got all the flowers. The bushes! Alright, beautiful. I don't know what this is. This is a colorful shovel. Okay, I could use that to dig out some stuff. I think we're good. Flowers are good. Like that matters. Oh, it actually does matter. Because I'm going to be, like, destroying this entire area. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good. The dog park? Yeah. GG's, everyone. Alright, let's go to the, uh, the front and receive your payment. And then I'll have one of you guys leave. And then I'll kick all the three of the rest of you guys out. I think we should be good. This was fun. 
This was fun. Can you take DIYs? Not my King Tut DIY. I see you eyeballing that. No. <laughs> Not you either. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, that's the I left that for Jess when she walks out of her house. She'll be able to take that. All right, get paid. You got the six fossils that came out? Oh, dang. But Abdallah, I can only find four fossils. <laughs> All right. All right, get paid. Someone leave. And then uh, we're out of here. You could take a couple flowers if you want. No pink hyacinths. Oh, I thought we had some. All right, no worries. We got a bunch of cool stuff. This is how many trips? How many dodo trips do you think this is? That's about like four or five dodo trips worth of flowers. I'll just come over to your town. I'll drop them off and you can do whatever you want with them. But I really want it to be someone that's... Um, Someone that needs the flowers. I don't want to like come into someone's town and the fly by they have every single flower. Like that's kind of lame. Um, but anyway, yeah, grab whatever flowers you guys want, and then grab your monies, and then you can feel free to leave. No loitering. <laughs> like I gotta go. <laughs> Yo, don't take all the rare ones either, right? We want to give some cool stuff. Oh, you guys took all the blue roses? What? Dang, leave some leave some for the viewers, guys. <laughs> leave some for the viewers, right? Take all the blue roses. Wait, where did my gold ones go? Oh, I gave out my gold ones to some viewers. <laughs> That's so funny. Alright, Romy's going home. Thank you, Romy. Round of applause for Romy. Let's see that save. If that save doesn't go through and we get the Mr. Rossetti. It's going to be bad news if that happens. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Goodbye. I'm going to kick you all out now. All right, take your money. Pick your money up off the ground, and then I'm kicking you out. <laughs> Bye, YouTube. -oo. YouTube. -oo. YouTube. -oo. Not just you. Take all your money. That pile's for you. I had four four gigantic piles. That's all you. The flowers. All right, last call. As soon as Bev picks up her last bag. You're getting kicked out. What is this? A fox mask? Uh, okay. Someone can have that. I don't need it. What is this coconut? Okay. <laughs> Please, pick up your money. I need to kick you guys out. We good? Alright, so you're gonna donate your- okay. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> this is the thank you so much but the show's gotta move on please pick up your money oh you're full on uh, inventory I see I see <laughs> this is like hey it's closing time closing time we're starting to like sweep up the floor around you <laughs> we're starting to put up the table the chairs on top of the tables that's that look, like, alright. Inventory pro- yeah, I know, man. Okay, adios. You got your poster? We good? Alright, cool. Let's hit it. No, I'm ending this session. You don't leave. <laughs> I kick you out. You do not leave. Right? You're fired. No, I quit. No, I'm firing you. No, I quit! <laughs> right? <laughs> it's exactly like that. Please close the window. No. How about that? Hey, guys, thank you so much. Everyone, round of apply emojis for our little helpers that came on board. See you, thank you. Couldn't have done it without you. That was really fun. I, I had a blast. Now, it's time to pick up some stuff and put it all into storage. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, I'm like gonna shed a tear soon. Honestly, like I'm going to shed a tear at, at this right now. I do have a lot of fruits, so I'm just gonna go straight sell this stuff right now. And then uh, my Audi pictures. <laughs> All right. Wow, though, man. Goodbye, items. All right, let's go pick up some stuff, and then we're going to go from there. All right, these are all of my statues. Like, I like these statues a lot. I like the fake ones, man. I like the fake ones a lot. They're actually, some of the fake ones are better than the, uh, the real ones, to be honest. Catch you later, fakies. Octavian, you gotta go, man. I don't really like that. I don't think I've ever spoke to him once. Alright, so that was a lot of paintings. Cool. Uh, I guess I'm gonna take this, and we're gonna take this. And then anything that's nearby, I'm just gonna absorb it. We just absorb it and put it into our pocket. Dang, remember this little trick? Putting like little furniture to back up your uh, your character whenever you make money rocks? Yeah, dude, that's like a day one pro strat, man. Yikes. Okay, we are completely, that's 40 items. I don't know if I made enough space. I can't believe that that's 40 items. I'm shredding through your flowers. <laughs> <clears throat> what does the cleanup service do, and how would that be more efficient? You're gonna have to elaborate on that. Other than me walking to every little piece, is cleanup service going to completely vacuum up everything on the floor, or just in the area in front of you? I've never actually used it. Tell me how it works. Explain it to me. And you have to start your comment off with, Hey everyone, it's Abdallah here with another Animal Crossing tips and tricks tutorial video. Today's video is all about teaching you about the cleanup service. Okay, so that's what you have to start your comment with. Ready? Go. Yo, look at this yellow one. So no one is explaining exactly cleanup. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> You'd be the first to jump down my throat with backseat gaming, but then the moment I ask for uh, <laughs> elaboration on that. Nope. Cream and sugar, goodbye. A ring? I don't need that ring in my front room. Dude, I gotta eliminate all of this junk in my room. Okay, no, I'm kidding. Jennifer D says, clears out the items around you and sends them into the recycling bin. There's a max item limit though. That doesn't sound like it's faster than me just walking around and picking up stuff. Mm, pass. <clears throat> pass. <laughs> no, I'll just walk around and pick up whatever is here, right? Here we go. One. Hard pass. Oh my gosh, that's right. I gotta pick up all the fences, too. Yikes. I made this guy like a front little hedge. Bump a down, bum, 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 all right, here we go. Oh, my little critters. I love them, and my turtles! Yeah. The crown, I don't want to pick it up yet. I have to, though. And the turtles. Cleanup service would not be faster. <laughs> Someone's very adamant about that. 
<laughs> Why do you think I ignored the comment? <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, moving on. Get out of here, bug. All right, that rock. Don't care about that rock. We need this. Yo, you guys want these crowns? What am I going to do with them? These were hand spun, dude. You know, like some clothing that is like hand stitched? Yo, these crowns were hand spun. And they're rarer than any crown that you can pick up at the Able Sisters. Because you cannot do that anymore. Hand spun, man. <laughs> oh, man. All right, moving on. I love this dog park. It was really good. It was a beautiful dog park. The best dog park I've seen. And we have footage of it before we trashed it. So it is forever on the internet. Hand spun dog park. No, hand spun. Hand placed shark models on tables. It was hand placed, man. You don't even know. don't even know. Give me that thing. Oh, what? I need a ladder to access this part? What? Who does that? How inaccessible. Man, we need some ADA ramps up in here. Oh, what are these? How much more? Oh, dang. Look at that. Perfect amount. Rocks? Is that Mary? I haven't said how. Oh my gosh, a balloon. Dang. I better hit it down. I guess I'll do my house area last. What should the last thing that I pick up be? Let me know in the comments. Should it be my trash can in the back? The last thing I pick up. Tan lines should be the last one. You guys like tan lines or do you guys like Peach Baby? Who who's the who's the more popular one? <laughs> okay, in the comments right now, social experiment. Who do you like more? Tan lines or do you like Peach Baby? Cuz we're going to come out with a new line of Animal Crossing New Horizons merch featuring your favorite of the two of them. Peach Baby or tan lines? I think he only liked tan lines because of his name. Uh, that's so funny. Peach Baby? Really? Dang, a lot of you guys like Peach Baby more? Why? Tan lines is hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> Dang, dude. I think it's like a 70-30 split when I'm looking at this comment section right here. How can you have a favorite child? I think a lot of you guys do. Especially if you have an only child. There's your favorite child right there. <laughs> if you have an only child, there's your favorite child. And if you have two children, secretly on the inside, you know you have a favorite. It's just what it is. There's no denying it. You won't admit it out loud, but it's true. How many guys have more than one kid and can uh, agree with that? Hands up in the comments. <laughs> it's true, you're not gonna tell it to anyone, let alone to any of the kids, <laughs> but it's true. <clears throat> you can even say that, right? And even if you have siblings, even if you have like a brother or a sister, you can say out loud, oh yeah, I was totally the favorite child. Right? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? You guys won't admit it, but you know I'm right. You may not have been the favorite child. Who cares, right? That's hard mode, then. You live life on hard mode. That's perfect. Like, challenge accepted. Whatever. <clears throat> what are you trying to catch? There's nothing there. Okay. Whatever. Oh, you and Diana are going 1v1? Alright, that's cool. Good luck. I got my money on Diana. Alright, I think that's all the items over here. I need a ladder, so the next time I'm in the area to grab a ladder, I'm gonna go do that. 
We have a lot of flowers. I think I'm gonna take a little dodo code break. Yeah, we'll take a dodo code break. Would you guys like that? And then I'll just drop off a whole bunch of random stuff. I'll even give you a picture of Enderman. Look at a picture of Enderman. He looks exactly like him. I miss Enderman. He's upstairs. I'll give you that gnome. Yeah, I'll give you that gnome right there. You can have that. You got some floor lights? No! Oh, the gnome! Oh, gnome! <clears throat> no, you can't give a picture of Enderman. You would like that, wouldn't you, though? That would be cool if you could. But how'd the game kind of store that? Oh, Rossetti is gone. Oh my gosh, what are these? Oh, these were the little um, tulip things. Got it, got it. And this guy? I don't remember where he came from. Jess picked him up somewhere. I think Jess got it like in the mail from one of her villagers or something. I remember I built this fence and I said, wow, this is cool. I can make myself a backyard. What a concept. A st when fencing was like brand new, I'm like, oh my God, fencing, this is cool. Okay, pockets are full. Oh my gosh, my pockets are full. Look at this, where is my island? Where's my island going? All right, I'm gonna dip everything out and we're gonna go take a quick dodo break. You guys down for that? I know I am. A dodo break. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. We're gonna do this. Mm-hmm, this, yeah. Spoiled turnips, oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. Let me see, give me one second. Oh, hey, what's up? Two-bit error? What's going on? Good to see you. Two-bit error, hey. <clears throat> thanks for coming. Thanks for tuning in. We're, uh, I don't know if we're almost done. I think we may have another hour's worth. We got to do a whole bunch of town visits uh, to a whole bunch of people, drop some of our stuff off. Uh, but yeah, welcome. Thanks so much for coming. <clears throat> Two bit error. Well, we had a whole bunch of new members that came on board today, right? I think I should go visit some of you guys and drop some of the stuff off. Would you like it? If we did that, and a mixture of just random dodos. We do a little bit of both. Spoiled turnips, got it. Let's do that. We'll do a little... <laughs> we'll do a little bit of both. We'll do, will we do another Jackbox game night, Molly? Oh, absolutely we will, and I hope that you'll show up. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna trash this. I'm going to grab a shovel out of the shop. How much money do I have? Oh, I got some money. I'll buy a shovel up in the shop. I'll dig out some flowers and some other cool stuff, and then I'll come visit with you guys. <clears throat> Are we going to TNT? Yeah, we're gonna TNT right now. It's like Mario Paint. <laughs> it's like Mario Point Paint. You remember that game? Did anyone play Mario Paint growing up? Am I the only one? Am I showing my age now? <laughs> Tell me you know that song. All right, here we go. Flowers! You better believe I'm gonna leave those holes. You better believe I'm gonna leave those holes. Absolutely I am. 
The fly game in Mario Paint. Yeah, what you know about the fly game? You better believe those holes are staying. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, we got a fun way of C-A-Y-G, man. Yo, I'm all about time, right? All about time. I'm hoping that once I leave the island and come back to it, the holes will automatically be filled in over time. <laughs> Oof. All right, here we go. We got we got a whole bunch of nice flowers here. I see a black rose in the back there. Don't think I missed that. All right, here, while we're waiting, while I'm digging this all up, ho head on over to the uh, community tab. If you're a brand new member, I would like to uh, get your dodo code. You cool with that? I'm looking for Tom Fan, uh, Love Wax, uh, Carly, Amber Hale, Miss Loki, Tiffany G, Deceptric, and Tuba Error. And I'll come over. I think that'll be a pretty easy way just so I'm not having to deal with a whole bunch of random codes. And uh, you gotta make sure that you want these flowers, right? Like, if you don't need them, then, like, hold off on giving me your Dodo code. But anyway. What are you gonna share with members today? Here. Alright, done. Okay, so there's a, um... Check the community tab post right over here. Uh, if you're on my YouTube channel, uh, there's home, videos, playlist, community. I got one right over here. Giving away flowers, send me a Dodo code if you're a new member. Done. So put your Dodo code over there and then I'll add you. And then while you're doing that, I'll dig up some more flowers. And you guys can have all the flowers you want to beautify your island. Or you can use them for breeding. I'm sure that they have the best genetics on board. The best genetics. How many? And then I'll give like three fossils. I don't know. <laughs> Six fossils showed up. All right, cool. I'm coming. And I'll sign your board too. We'll do a mixture of random dodo code in the comments and then um, brand new member. Just so it's kind of fair. All right, here we go. Here we go. I want to fly. Oh, we'll have a whole bunch of space dedicated for science. Don't worry. I'm not stopping on the science yet. Still a couple things that we got to do, like item showcases and whatnot. Fall's around the corner, so there's a whole bunch of things that I got planned for it. And then winter, we haven't even touched, even though Southern Hemisphere had winter for um, for a while. They, are you guys still in winter? I don't know, something like that. All right, here we go. Hopefully you guys are quick. Oh, hey, it's working now. Interesting. Mario Paint. You remember that? I love Mario Paint. What did you guys make in Mario Paint? Do you guys have any fond memories of Mario Paint? I remember I used to just... I loved, like, destroying things. I'd just, like, scribble, and then I would try all the little ways of blowing it up. Which is super fun. They had, like, a little rocket ship that would, like, blast off. Remember that? <laughs> you had a little Super Nintendo mouse with two little buttons on top. Oh my gosh, I still have it. I still have my Super Nintendo mouse. It was good. It was good. I had the fly swatting minigame was hard. It was so hard. Because, like, the ball, you it was like a mouse that had, like, a ball and rollers, right? So if you weren't good at, like, moving around and clicking and getting those flies, it was so nerve-wracking, too, because the bees would sting you. It was a very intense game, so you guys have never even played it, some of you guys. I honestly wouldn't wish that gameplay upon 
some people. It was really rough and scary. Kid in the 90s, you're out here trying to color on a new um, a new system, right? A new Super Nintendo. Trying to color and make some paintings and whatnot, and you stumble across this, like, Bumblebee game, and your hand gets stung by bees? Oh my gosh. Yo, what is this? You have all the flowers. What did we... <laughs> All right, all right, fine. Only because you had a welcome mat laid out for me. Cool flyby. Nella Nova. Hey, welcome. So glad to have you. Don't we have a command for my dream address somewhere? Look at that. It says, welcome, Abdallah. That took two things. Free recipes. Hmm, I might indulge. But I need to find a spot to dump off. You have so many flowers, dude. What is going on? Where am I? Can I drop flowers here? You have no. Can I drop flowers on the beach? I guess I can. All right. Well, here you go. You hit the lottery. Flowers on the beach, even though you probably have every flower in existence. Flowers on the beach. Oh, wait, didn't we come here before? Yeah, we've been here. I did an, an actual, like, an island tour of this, because I remember the Sonus and Sony thing. Yeah, I do remember. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, I'm remembering this. I'm remembering. I was gonna say, like, didn't I go here? But alright, cool. Either way, thanks for re-upping membership. Enjoy the flowers. I don't know what you're gonna do with the flowers. You're probably gonna dig them all up and sell them, but that's okay. Do you guys remember this town? There was, like, an outdoor, uh, like... I don't know, Sony something or rather. You actually wanted pink roses? Oh, okay, I don't know if I had any to give you, but I hope you enjoy them. Uh, I need more beach space. There's like two spots here. Sony and, and I have signed your board. I know that for sure. So I don't have to make a trip over there. All right. Blue wind flowers, and then we're going to drop these. I don't know if you need them, but I brought them just in case. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Catch you later, man. Yo, I'm about to fast travel out of here. I did like this town. I remembered it. I did like that a lot. All right. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit more cleanup. Make sure you guys have your dodo codes ready. Don't post them in the chat yet. But let me do a little bit more cleanup. And then we're going to visit someone random in the comments. We're going to visit someone random in the comments. Unless you guys want gate crashers, that's cool. Post your Dota codes now. I'm not talking about them. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. You guys can visit each other's. Look at this sad flyby now. Shedding a tear. My first wooden bridge. No, the holes are still there. I just got a TT to the next day, man. That's fine. Go to the next day, man. You think I'm going to fill in all those holes? No, nah, the king doesn't fill in his holes. The Animal Crossing king does not waste his time filling in a hundred different holes. We're gonna go to the next day and they're not gonna be there. Bet. You can just save and quit and then they'll be gone the next time? Oh, okay, that's fine. That's even easier. All right, we're gonna do a little bit more demolition and then I'm out. I gotta pick up all this stuff. The floor lights, my favorite! Oh, Peach Baby! 
And then I need a ladder, too. I do need a ladder. Uh, Melissa! Hey! What's up, Melissa? Welcome! Everyone welcome, Melissa. I hope I pronounced your name right. That's a unique spelling of your name. I've never seen Melissa spelled with a Y. And two L's. That's awesome. My name has two L's, too. We'd be best friends. You know, people with same consonants often become best friends. It's a true story. Who has two consonants in their name? Aside from me and Melissa here. The picnic, I, I'm leaving the picnic. I'm, we're leaving it, we're leaving it. And I'm leaving that. Okay, and then I need to get all my bugs. Two L's, oh yeah. <laughs> Holly, that's, see, that's right. See, that's what happens, right? Give me that cockroach. Give me that cockroach. I'm gonna play a trick on someone. Oh yeah, I was gonna give a gnome to someone. Give me that. Audi paintings, uh, or Audi portraits. That, that little thing right there. All right, what's up? Yo, Sarah. What's up, Sarah? Hello. Oh, you got a little Oddish PFP right there? Oh, dude, I love Oddish. I like Gloom, too. Gloom's one of my favorites. Welcome, Sarah. Everyone, run apply emojis for our latest two members. Thanks so much, guys. Appreciate it. You would like an Audi picture? They're not up for grabs. Sorry. <laughs> I would like a million dollars. Would I, though? I don't know. No, I don't think I would. I'd be alright. Probably give it up to people. Sarah, hello. Welcome. <clears throat> okay, let's do a little bit more. I'm going to go inside my area. I'm going to go inside my storage, and I'm going to go pick up a ladder. And then I'm going to go eliminate all the things that are on that upper plateau area, and then we're done. Dandelion Queen. Oh, you love the videos? Hey, I'm so glad. Which ones do you like? Whoa, did you see Camo Cat just turn? Dang. Oh, Audi's photo. <laughs> um, Dandelion Queen, which videos do you like? Or which videos do you love? Do you like the uh, the Animal Crossing videos? Do you like the Pokemon videos? The Yokai Watch videos? All right. I'm going to, ooh, yeah. I was going to go get the ladder, and then we're going to go get the stuff. And then I got to go eliminate the area over there. And then we'll go visit someone. And then Tan Lines and Peach Baby are going to be the last one. And we're going to take a poll on which is the last item we should pick up on the island. <sighs> We've already gone this far. We can't go back. There's no going back. Don't make me give you a mushroom wand. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> We All right, let's go. See you later. Hey, where did my holes go? Audi! <laughs> I told you, the Animal Crossing King never fills in his dugout holes. He makes his villagers do it. Nice. Nice job, Audi. Remember when someone said, you don't have to time travel, you just need to save and quit. And I say to that person, well, you don't even have to save and quit. You just need to have Audi do it. Simple as that. All right. I think we're good. Ooh, Stonehenge. Yep. Lisette. Hey, what's up, Lisette? Yo, look at that. Lisette. You know, I actually, I used to have a, a friend named Lisette. I think I still do. I think we're still friends. Cool name. Alright, so that area is done. I think this entire area is pretty much done. I just gotta start hacking at it with the building tool. 
And I need to, like, fill in my heart-shaped pond. And I need to fill in the river. I need to demolish the bridge. I gotta do a lot of stuff, man. Still a lot of things to do. Alright. What is this doing here? Oh, I was gonna give that to someone. It was like a fox mask for some reason. We gotta pick up these things. Yeah, see you later, Engine Man. Catch you later, dude. Uh, I, I like that. That's still cool. I think we're good. That's oh, what is this? What is this thing? How'd I miss this? Get out of here, light pole. You want a lily of the valley so bad? I know you got to work for it, right? You got to get that five-star island, and then they'll start showing up. It's a trophy. You'll get one. I don't know if one of the workers that I hired on board took my lily of the valley. I couldn't tell you. All right, Enderman is fine. Don't worry, the kitties will still be here. We have the wooden shop signs available. <laughs> All right, I was holding that so I can't actually um, put it away. So that's fine, here we go. Put in storage, let's go. Yeah, the Lily of the Valley only shows up when you have a five-star island uh, and they grow on cliffs too, so you have to have some high elevation. Uh, Daquan, hey, what's up? Thanks so much for hanging out. I hope I pronounced your name right. Alright, here we go. I am going to... Yeah, I can, I can get ready for the next one. All of my flowers, they're yours. Alright, make sure that you have your dodo codes ready. Alright, have your dodo codes ready. I'm coming. Oh dang, the Mr. Rossetti little hole here. All right, this is the um, the underground, what was it? The reset center? Oh dang it, I refilled in one of the holes when I said I wouldn't. When I said I wouldn't. Not gonna waste my time with that. You know I do it just to get a rise out of some of you guys. This is actually me trolling some of you guys that can't stand it. When people dig holes and they don't, like, fill in the dirt. Hands up in the comments if that's you. I'm truly just doing it for you. It's so funny. <laughs> you may not be saying it right now. You may not be commenting it. And that's fine. But I know. You're like, oh, that Abdallah... He's making me so angry, he's not filling in those holes! I know. Trust me, I know. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. It's okay. And you know, there's some people out there that only fill in holes by kicking them, right? And if they see someone filling in a hole with their shovel, they think that it wastes the shovel's durability and it makes them really angry. <laughs> Remember when that happened last time? It was so funny. I'm like, uh, sorry kid, that's not how durability works, but... <laughs> Alright, we got a whole bunch of flowers. These flowers are all coming to you. Hyacinths. That's right, only fill in with the uh, with the shovel. You can't get your feet dirty because you're not wearing socks. That's right, because no one wears socks in Animal Crossing. Alright, here we go. Get ready. Dodo code in the comments. Dodo code in the comments. This is going to be anyone randomly. And you have to need the actual flowers, please. I don't want to dump them off because you already have them. Like, this is an act of, hey, here's some cool flowers to decorate your town with. All right, here we go. Random dodo. Random dodo, let's dodo. Come on, everybody, let's get a dodo. I'm going to Harv's Island and dropping these off. <laughs> Harv's Island, yes, I love Harv's Island. And also, as soon as I land in, Make sure that you close your gates and you don't mention anything about me coming into your chat or else someone's going to scroll up, they're going to find your comment, and then they're going to come gate crash. Trust me, it happens. I'm the guy that would do that. No, I'm kidding. I would never do that. All right. 
Uh, where am I going? Where am I going? Nobody knows. I'm scrolling up a little bit here, and I'm coming to... Um, <laughs> let's go over this one. And if I come over... If I come over, you have to be a subscriber for life. That's, that's the thing I didn't tell you. You have to hit that subscribe button, and then you have to never, ever unsubscribe. That's kind of the caveat here. It's the unwritten code of conduct, so to say, right? Like, you guys all bought Animal Crossing, and uh, apparently, at the time of, like, playing the game, you already signed a contract to the Nintendo Code of Conduct on how you'd conduct yourself playing the game, even though you didn't read it. Just like that. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> exactly like that. All right, cool, I'm coming. Here we go. You guys can hold out on your Dodo Codes. But you can keep your gates open. I'll uh, I'll do a little bit of terraforming and then I'll come visit you guys again. And no, this isn't. I'm <laughs> I'm not your your flower ordering service. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I see some comments like, I could really just only need the pink ones and these. No, I'm sorry. You're just taking a lot, and that's what it is. It's like eBay lots, right? Like a lot of uh, NES games, and you only want one of them. No, sorry, you buy the lot. Whoa, dang, an orchard. Oh, little tree garden area. Oh, that's cute. Oh, well, lots of foresty. Oh, look at how neatly in a row they are. Very meticulously placed, I might add. Cool flyby. Yeah, this flyby is real awesome. Already carving out some land? I love this. I'm gonna go sign your board, too, so enjoy. That's cool. Really cool. Man, I can't wait to carve out some stuff for my town. It'll be really fun. Hello! Where are you? Oh, is that a pathway? Is that a custom pathway? I don't know that path, to be honest. It looks awesome, though. Yo, you got a pig? There are no posts. Well, guess what? <laughs> oh, yes! Being the first to sign one of these things. Yeah, dude. It's like I watched a YouTube video and I was the first person to comment. And I noticed the comment section was empty. So what would I comment on a YouTube video that has no comments? Yo, what's up? Hi. I don't know where you want these. I'm just going to dump them. I'm going to find a nice open spot. I'll dump them on the beach so you can dig them out. Oh, here's a manhole cover. No, I need that. <laughs> What do you type on a YouTube video if you're the first person to comment? Is that a thing? Oh, that's called The Path. Some of you guys are telling me right now. Oh, that's so funny. It's called The Path. All right, great. If you come to my island, can you give me two million bells? I need it for my island. Oh, yeah, dude, right away. Absolutely. I'm coming right now. Great. What's up, Kazzy? I love that hairstyle, by the way. It's like the side part. Looks cool. Secretly, that's my hairstyle underneath this crown. I've just never taken off my original crown. Nice t-shirt, too. What, is that a little bunny? Is that a, is that a custom design? Cute. Pink tulips, there we go, white mums. Yeah, feel free to like breed these if you want to. I don't know. I don't know what your aspirations for Animal Crossing are, but um, go for it. I'm gonna keep the ran hole cover. Anyway, adios. Take your picture before it goes away. Hurry, click the screenshot button, kshink. <laughs> Oh, and then I teleport out of the air. You can buy that t-shirt in the Nook store. Okay, cool.
That was awesome. <laughs> uh, all right, moving on. Let's go do a little bit more demolition. Can you guys teach me how to destroy a, a, a little... Bridge? That's the name of it. It's a bridge. Take an axe to it. Start swinging. Talk to Tom Nook. Tom Nook destroys it for you. Wow. Does he charge me money? Is it free? Like, I mean, I could destroy it. I got, like, a golden axe. I could do it. Talk to Book? I don't know who Book is. Um, but anyway, let's do some uh, construction, shall we? Put on that hard hat. That's right, safety first. Let's go! What should we destroy first? The river. Oh, yeah, I need to add. I don't want to destroy. Uh, do I not? Hold on. Waterscaping permit. I thought I was in the right spot. Like, what? Yeah. Here we go. Put that dirt in it. I wonder if there's, like, a more optimal way of doing this. Like, can you just hold the A button? Uh, it's feeling, like, really slow. <laughs> now this is how this and then I get like a little curve right there Yeah, this is so boring <laughs> Hey, but once we figure it out and once we're done with it. Oh, it's gonna look amazing Melissa, it took you forever yesterday to do this? Oh my gosh, I'm dying already. I'm done. My patience is... There has to be something else, right? Should I do it like every other spot? There's gotta be a way of saving... Clicks, right? The letter U! There is a faster way. There has to be. Like maybe skipping a little sliver, and then if you skip a little sliver, then you'll have... Ugh. Okay, I'll do a little portion, and in order to keep my sanity, I'll keep on making dodo visits. <laughs> that's that's the only way that I'm gonna keep my sanity over here. This is really bad. <clears throat> I mean, it's it's actually building, right? So you're doing the physical labor. I wish that you could just invite friends over and they could do this, right? If they're best friends, why can't you do this with them? Mario? Yo, where does money come from? Oh, dang. None of you guys knew about the hidden stash of money behind Jess's house? Dang. Should have visited the Dream Island and explored a little bit more. The hidden stash of money behind Jess's house. <clears throat> You did dig up a large star fragment somehow? Hey, what? Really? Whoa, dang, I didn't even, okay. Where does, what? Ugh. 
I took two layers and land and water out. I went um, every second spot. Yes, I like I'm familiar with the faster way of getting rid of mountains, but I'm not familiar with the faster way of getting rid of water. Yo, this is gonna be the best island. I can't wait. Dunk. Dunk. See, that's like two, right? Like, that's two little columns right there. Alright, once I'm done with this river, once I'm done with this river, then uh, we're gonna go visit someone. Wow, that was gigantic. I think that's the fastest way, right? You see that I'm doing like four little squares every time I do that. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know, man. This is where I went fishing and I caught so many fish. You know, it's the end of August, right? I gotta go make that, like, September video of bugs and fish. Oh, I should have thought about doing that beforehand. How many new bugs and fish in September, though? Anything good? Probably go to someone's town and do it. Is that really four clicks? No, that can't be four clicks. That's four clicks. Ugh, lame. There's a new dragonfly in September? I'll have to take a look. Why can't Audie come over here and fill in these little holes? Oh, that was like two. Yeah, that felt like two. Mm. What are the plans for the island? Oh, you'll find out soon. We'll do some live stream builds, don't worry. I don't have time to <laughs> play this game off screen. So we'll stream it. I hope that you guys come out to it. Just building it from scratch, and it's really unfortunate that I can't move Town Hall. So it's a big wrench in my plans. I was not, um, I was not excited about that. Like, everything else is movable, right? Blathers, the museum, all that stuff. 100% movable. But, like, Town Hall? No, of course not. I didn't even pick up my critters. Ah, my critters. That's one quick trip though. There's 40 of them, just in case you didn't know. How to catch all 40 critters with their Critterpedia pages. Oh my gosh, that was the funnest time. You guys remember that? Dude, I was losing it at like the 10 hour mark. I was losing it. Uh, that will always be in the history books in Animal Crossing for sure. I remember, like, my eyes were so heavy. I'm like, my camera died. It's like my camera saying, yo, dude, you going to bed yet? I can't handle this. Oh man, I'm just making my little island in between this river here. Look at this.
I think doing it this way is your fastest bet. Just skipping a little row. It's kind of like doing the mountains too, right? Like you leave a little row and then you just destroy them all. Hey, Diana, watch it. Men at work sign, that's exactly what I need. Yeah, I don't think we need the fish though. I think we're good. What happens if I cover this up? Where does the water go? Oh, interesting. Uh, okay. Is that what's supposed to happen to it? It just goes into the ground? Sure, it's Animal Crossing. Like, you don't question it. Alright, once I'm done filling in this entire river, we're going. I gotta, I gotta take a quick breather from this nonsense. A blank slate. What if that was an option through Tom Nook? Hey, for a hundred thousand... Nook Miles. Okay, fine. For 50,000 Nook Mile tickets, we can hire out people to completely flatten out your town. We'll move everyone to the beach for you. <laughs> Andy, someone came to your town saying that they're my cousin? Yo, my cousin visited you? Dang, how lucky are you, man? That's hilarious. It's funny, though. <laughs> oh. Woo. What if you misclick? Well, it would be in the options in, like, the, the minus menu, right? And Tom Nook, you'd have to jump through, like, five hoops. He'd say, are you absolutely sure you want to do this? And then it's like, press and hold the A button for 20 seconds to confirm your answer. <laughs> Does it really count if it's my cousin? You got the value brand of doll experience. That's so funny. Ugh! Clean slate. That's what I was talking about. Love wax scent. Yes. Clean slate option. That would be really cool. Now that I'm thinking about it. Rather than spending hours just digging these little holes and filling stuff in. Clean slate, dude. Yeah, you can't hire anyone to do this stuff. This is just not... You can't. You have to do this stuff yourself. Because no one can come over to someone else's town and hard hat. So that's why we enlisted the help of my best friends in the game. Yo, where'd that river go? Oh, the river's out of here. Oh my gosh, what a town. All right, looking good. Okay, that's not doable. All right, so this entire river used to run this way. Uh, I think it ran over here, and then it ran over here, and then it ran all the way to the waterfall. So that's pretty good, right? I'm going to fill in a couple more things, and then we're going to go. I actually like this. This is fun, just to see how the entire town is transforming. Mm, get out of the way! You deer. I like Diana. You know, I think the only reason why I like Diana, I really like her eyelashes. Yo, look at that fish! I <laughs> see a fish. I really like... Oh, whoa. Are we going to witness a catch? No, no. She just chases it. Are we going to witness a catch? It is the bug catching thing.
Mary's face looks really weird, like she's cross-eyed. She's got those nasty looking bangs too. I don't know why I settled on her. I don't really like her that much. I like her neon pink ears though, for sure. And I'm really digging that hoodie. But the cross eyes? No, nah, I'm not a big fan. You guys like Mary? Or you guys... Rate Mary on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being you absolutely want her as a dreamy and you've been hunting for her. And 1 as in you wouldn't really want her in your town. Mary, go. You liked her, then you realized she had a double chin? What?! <laughs> what in the world did I just read? Alright, so a lot of you guys not really uh, liking Mary all that much. I'm saying like below average scores here for Mary. Okay, it's fair. It's fairy. <clears throat> Whoa, big jump. Yo, this river is looking good, man. Oh, yeah, this river, too. I remember fishing in this pond. See you later, pond. Look at that big amount of... There we go, there we go. Yeah, no, now it looks like a duck. Rorschach. Okay, we have zero pawns. I may have to, like, build a pond. How am I gonna catch these fish and bugs for, like, the next stream? Am I, like, on a deadline to finish this town? Did I just dig myself a hole? Oh my gosh, I don't know. All right, so I got one more little pond. It was my heart pond. Where'd my heart pond go? Here we go. This was my, I actually carved out this heart pond. It was very cute. Now it's a lung pond. Here we go. The lungs pond. <laughs> yes. Yes. Or the kidneys. A little bit of the stomach. See a little stomach over there. Brought to you by the letter C. CD. <laughs> I heard you like CDs. <laughs> it looks like an ear, yeah, for sure. The two ears pond. CD's Pond. Nobody? No reaction out of anyone. Okay, great. I'll keep that one to myself then. <clears throat> Good. Next? <laughs> Alright. There we go. Bury the evidence. Hey, how come none of you guys dug up this one? Wait a second. Did you guys... What is this? What? Who put that there? Is weird? Like, I'm gonna dig up a wasp's nest for Abdallah and hopefully he'll find it. Alright, I think I'm relatively almost good. No, I'm not ready. Give me my thing. Who put that there? Audie, was that you? This was my <laughs> a shortcut. I think Jess actually built that shortcut. Because she didn't like having to walk all the way up to the Zen bridge that I made. Oh, that would be cool if you could bury a wasp's nest with wasps actually still in it. Yeah, that would be amazing. And then someone digs it up and they get stung. That would be worse than a pitfall. That would be the ultimate April Fool's Day thing, right? Oh, oh! The ultimate April Fool's. You. All 
That would be so much fun. Who would you do that to? Let me know in the comments. Would you actually do that to someone? If you were able to bury a wasp nest with wasps in it, and then as soon as someone digs it out, they would get stung in the face and need medicine. Or just to stop playing for the day. Make them rage quit. Who would you do that to? A <laughs> prank video? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was, that's on my list, honestly. I was thinking about pranks. Way back in the day when I had a, a gigantic laundry list of Animal Crossing videos to make. I could still make it for sure, but we'll see. You do that to your brother? Oh my gosh, you, you're such a good sister. Troom Troom? The heck is that? Should I know what that is? Is that like a popular thing? Is that like a kid's thing? Yo, Octavian, out of the way, man. There's my most wanted, my most hated villager right now, Octavian. Okay, I think the river's done. Yeah, the river's... Oh, and then I got that little area that way. Wow, okay, there's a pond over there. I'm gonna go eliminate that pond, and then we're gonna go on a trip. See ya, Audie. What, you wanted to catch this? Columns, man. Making the vertical columns. Mm. This takes a long time. <laughs> uh, did I tell Jess Predictions in the comments Did I tell Jess that I was going to destroy and blow up the island Honestly I'll, I'll let you guys predict And then I'll tell you A bunch of you guys saying no Really? You guys are saying no? Man, what do you take me for? This is my game. <laughs> this is my game. <laughs> I can do with it what I want. No, I'm kidding. Uh, no, I mentioned it to her. I'm like, hey, most likely I'm going to be destroying this island, so don't get too comfortable and don't spend so much time building out some things. She's like, aw, that's all my hard work, though. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I noticed you sitting around at home doing nothing during your spring break when you didn't have any work, playing Animal Crossing all day. Oh, you bet I noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> so, that being said, not spring break, summer break, I mean. That being said, it's for the better. And plus, this island's gonna be amazing. That's right, she's currently, yeah, school starting, so she doesn't have any time. And plus, I mean, we don't even have any time to play Animal Crossing anyway, right? It's not it. Alright, so here we go. That was it. Now, I need to fill up my pockets full of stuff, and then I'm coming over. You guys still here? You guys still awake? Alright, good. Yo, Octavian's calling. Mary is calling. What did you say about Mary's double chin? A theme? That's right, we are gonna have a theme and we're gonna need some villagers to match. Oh, absolutely. I'll have to find the best villagers. And it'll be really fun. 
You guys will put your villagers in boxes for me and I'll come over and I'll get them. No, I'm kidding. <gasps> the Lily of the Valley. We're gonna skip that one. I'll save that one for the very end. What is Flick doing? Showing off that he knows how to do a stance? Yeah, that's cool, dude. Nice knowing you. Google Mary's photo and you'll see your double chin. I think Jess has Mary's photo. What's wrong with a double chin? The more the merrier, right? <laughs> you get a twofer. All right, we gotta give a lot of these commons too. We gotta mix up a lot of commons with some uncommons. Oh! What? Do I not have another shovel? All right, I'm giving my gnome. That gnome's coming with me. You guys can have him. <laughs> Double chin, man. The more, the merrier. Why you gotta chin shame someone, huh? Who are you to chin shame someone with two chins? Get out of here. It's foolish. Alright. You're gonna get one of the legendary gnomes that have been inside my town. And he's got glasses, and he doesn't take any nonsense. He's a no-nonsense gnome. No nonsense gnome. G, G, G. It's a triple G right there. No nonsense gnome? Absolutely. Triple G. It's an acronym. Not like a single G. He's not like an OG. He's no double G. He's triple G. No nonsense gnome. <laughs> um, Abdallah, no starts with an N. Nonsense starts with an N, so wouldn't it be... No! Mm. <laughs> Here we go. I'm coming. Give me that dodo. You know, I never changed my town tune either. Did everyone have the same town tune? <laughs> <laughs> There's a no 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 nonsense. All right, let's go. I'm coming. The triple G. You are gonna get the triple G right here. You are like gonna be famous. And then when someone asks you about the triple G, you have to tell them what the triple G stands for. I hope this dodo gate is still open. Oh man, if it's drumsticks, that's like tossing away a winning lottery ticket, man. Oh, that's some drumsticks. Oh no. Dang, I tried, I tried. Lisette, I tried. Dang, you closed it. I was gonna show some love. All right, that's fine. Womp womp. Dang, drumsticks. All right, here we go, we're going to the next one. How do you want to travel? Dodo code. Ready. All right, we're coming. Here we go. All right, we're in. And three, two, one. Let's fly. All right, you guys can hold off on your dodo codes for now.
Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm like, do I have to go through all the hoops again? What? Close your gate for me, will ya? Thanks. Do 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 do. Here it comes. What is this? Mifa Isle. Okay. You have tons of flowers. Okay, no worries. I have more. Dude, what is- you wearing a halo? That's cool. I rarely see anyone with those. Have some flowers. Close the gates. I'm on my way. And I'll sign your board. Hello! Oh, nice mask! Yo, it looks like PJ masks! Close the gate. Close the actual gate. Go close the gate. That's my manhole cover. Thank you. Or not. Someone's gonna gate crash. Close the gate. Why are we whispering? Maybe whisper a little louder. Uh, okay, no worries. Whatever. If we get gate crashed, whatever. <laughs> Gonna fly out as soon as uh, as fast as I got in here. Yo, some DIYs. Can I have a snack? I'm coming. And have a gnome. That's a manhole cover. Here's a garden gnome. There's a triple G. Where's your, uh, where's your place? Uh, uh, uh. You have all them. I saw. Oh, you're talking about the DIYs? Oh, I got it. I, th I thought you were talking about flowers. Yo, that's a robot. In the hey, yo, what's this guy doing here? Oh. Hi. <laughs> that's cool. Well, I can't beat that, but... Have a signature from your favorite YouTuber. Cool. All right. We have liftoff. Isabel, get back inside Town Hall. Unless you're doing something. Get back inside. What did Isabel do on the outside? In Animal Crossing New Leaf? Didn't she follow you around and do some stuff? Like, follow you around whenever you wanted to, like, build a building or something? Or a public works project, she would follow you? And it was cool? Okay, let's do a little bit of terraforming, and then we're gonna be done. Nice flyby. With flick. Flicky.
All right, get ready. Flowers and flowers. Here we go. I have a ladder. And then I just need my cliff construction tool. <laughs> Raymond, who gave you that hat? What's their problem? How dare you do that to Raymondo. I like Raymond. Alright, I guess we're just gonna start. Crunch, crunch. Everything I just did, undid. What did we say about uh, cliffs? There's like, you have to do like a line. A full liner like this. That's, no, that's too slow because that's two hits per little section here. I remember I figured something out. There we go. Yeah, see once you have these little uh, segments here, you can just easily destroy them like that. There we go, beautiful. All right, I'm just gonna climb up here really quick. I'm gonna get rid of the water. And then we're just gonna go to town. There we go. This is where I caught all of my uh, little cliff fish, right? The, the golden salmon, remember that? The golden salmon. For those of you guys that pronounce salmon with the L. Just to trigger people. <laughs> the golden trout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The golden trout versus the golden salmon. Kind of look like a salmon. Alright, get out of here. Let's go. Wait, what happens here at the waterfall? Oh, is this how you is this how Crunchy Island makes those uh, waterfalls? What happens if I do this? Whoa, cool. Mmm, the little okay, okay, okay. Painstakingly making the uh, little waterfalls that you got to jump around through. Crunch. going very swimmingly. That's four taps in that corner. That's annoying. This is one tap. Whoa, big. This is going to be four taps. And that's one tap in the bottom. Okay. The island is almost done. And then we got to move all the people aside. We might do that tomorrow. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it. We might do that tomorrow. Just like move all the people to the beach. And then you're just out. The last little river critter. And it's none other than a stupid roach. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I would have never, like restarted my game. No, that's silly. Because this character has got all these DIYs and I have like storage filled with like everything that I'd possibly need. I'd never do that. No, we're just gonna... We're doing this. What's up, Abby? Hello, Abby Rose. Good to see you. Everyone welcome Abby Rose. Look at Audie. Watch her catch that. All right, all eyes on you, girl. Oh, gave up interest? She's like, ah, it's not worth my time. Most common 
blue bottles or whatever. Not worth my time. Yeah, definitely go visit my dream island if you guys want to see what's going on. You'll see a little before and after. You guys can say hi to the dog park again. And then I'll only update my dream island when this island is 100% complete. Give it like a month. I'll work on this for a month and you guys will be there. Okay, there is no land water on the island. It's over. What? The land water. How in the world? Okay, there's there's gonna be a couple things. I'm like, I'm brainstorming this new island in my head. It's gonna be pretty crazy. Brittany, hey, what's going on? Welcome back, welcome back. Good to have you. Everyone welcome Brittany. Hello, hello. What's new and exciting? The stand-up. Got him. It's a cool time in 2019. Remember that year? Remember that year? 2019 was a good year. <laughs> what happened, right? I think this was my optimal way of destroying land. Katie Rogers, hey, I'm glad that you enjoy the content. Hey, that's awesome. We have a lot of cool um, island visits that we've done. Hopefully you can get some design ideas from that. I'm kind of on a, uh... ooh, that's terrible. No, that's suboptimal. Ugh. All right. I'm kind of on a dream address kick right now, so if you guys have any really cool dream addresses, by all means, send them over to me. And no, this isn't a plug for your own dream addresses, no, like some really, really cool stuff that would warrant like a, a cool visit. I came out with a really cool one yesterday. Okay, this is way too many taps for this one. No, it's not too bad, because you do that and then you crash it with the other, so... It's a square tap. That's not too bad. Oh, that was like three squares in one tap. Have I been to the new Ica Island? Yeah. Have you YouTube searched Abdallah Ica Village? Animal Crossing New Horizons? Yeah, you'll watch it. We did a, we did a whole, I don't know, I was in there for like three hours trying to figure out the correlation between all the different islands only to find out that all the different towns were different and they were all their own little horror stories what's my favorite part about animal crossing new horizons i think seeing all of the creativity from you guys that's my favorite thing it's not a game that I would honestly find myself playing for the sake of playing it. I just like seeing and showing off creativity that you guys do. That's my favorite part about it. Like all those horror islands that we've been through? Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. It's so crazy to see what people have come up with. Oh, Rachel, at least terraforming tools never break. Can you imagine? And then throw up emoji? <laughs> you know, I never actually thought about that. This is a golden shovel. This, this must be like double-plated gold. 
Imagine that, huh? Dude, you're out here, like, terraforming your entire island, and then you have to go back. And you have to buy new tools and craft them or something. How disgusting would that be? Okay, beautiful. Third tier, gone. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, that rock is a problem. Audi? How'd you get up here? That rock is a problem. That's what we call a problem child. Alright, so let's go deal with our problem child by eating a fruit and then hitting it. <laughs> Did that grasshopper jump on Diana's head? <laughs> wow. Yo, where's my stack of 10 turnips? <laughs> where's my stack of 10 turnips that I could just eat right now? Leave Audie stuck on an elevated square of land? <laughs> what would happen to her? That's rude. What would actually happen to her? That'd be very rude and a rude trick to play on her. She's my favorite villager. I have two of her picture. Alright, so I guess what I've never tried was can you hit a rock with the terraforming shovel? Never tried. Wow, look at that. What kind of inconsistency is that? You've got a golden terraforming shovel that never breaks, even though I ate a fruit. Unbelievable inconsistency there. Just throwing it out there. Sorry. Fix your game. How in the world am I going to do this part? Oh my gosh, this is gigantic. All right, well, nah, that's not the way. That's not the way either. Here we go. Whew. Get ready, man. So if you have a path on top, can you still terraform it? Curious. The flat edge compared to your golden shovel? Ah, uh, no, nah, you're just giving excuses now. Sorry, man, don't stick up for the game. The game's wrong. I legit hit it. It's a flat edge versus the shovel. Mm, think about it, you can break a rock with an axe too, which is also a flat edge, so... No, nah, does not correlate. Sorry, try again. Or not. I need a turbo controller! I, I said I was gonna buy a turbo controller for this, right? Just hold the A button and hold left. <laughs> just go <laughs> put the controller oh man put the controller down so that the little control stick is towards the left and you hold the a button and it just does the work go on have a drink you should have a better chance of getting a gold nugget if you broke it with a golden shovel Courtney oh you are absolutely a hundred percent right it should be double the odds of the 1%. A 2%. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, build it back up, guy. Oh my gosh. The island is almost there. As long as I get, I think the goal for today, today's goal, and we'll hit it up again tomorrow. Tomorrow's goal is to get everyone moved off the island.
So once we're done just clearing out all of this stuff, getting rid of all the flowers, giving them to you guys, uh, I think tomorrow is just going to be, you know what? Let's just go at it. Let's just deliver. Everyone moves off the island. You go to the beach. And then we start mapping. We start mapping what we want to do. I'm going to need your help, though, guys, because some of you guys who have done this kind of process before, I need to know how many squares is someone's house, per se, because I need to be able to, like, plan that accordingly. And I've seen it in some people's towns that i visited where they, like, put, like, patterns, like a 9 pattern. I don't know if it was a 9 pattern or a 15 pattern or something like that. 4 by 5? Like, 5 deep? Like, 5 tall, you're talking about, and 4 wide? I don't know. So, I'll have to pick your brains on that, too. Five wide, four vertical. Yeah, see, like, everyone's just saying different dimensions right now. So get the facts, then come back to me with the facts so that we can actually figure it out. When are we playing against Neuralis? I played with Neuralis yesterday. I played Mario Kart... 8 Deluxe with Neuralis yesterday. We did our recording session, so uh, we're just gonna wait until it, get, it all gets edited, and then we're gonna upload it. Yeah, playing as Neuralis was really fun yesterday. It was, it was like, awkward at the same time, but, like, super fun. Raymond, you better run, I'm coming! It's like Pac-Man, just eating the pellets. Raymond's like, oh, I'm out of here. I don't even know who that guy in the hard hat is. I've never talked to him before in my life, so I'm out. Don't worry, this island is going to be good. I'm going to enjoy it. We'll make it good. And then I'll take, I'll take some suggestions from you guys too. Because you guys know a lot about the entire catalog and inventory of stuff. And I don't. Like, I don't spend time researching different colorations and different customizations of things. Like, I don't do that. So I'll rely on you guys to say, hey, here is this house. This is the room I want to replicate. Tell me what would look really good over here. And then if you have one of those items, I'll be like, all right, cool. Let's see a dodo code. I'll come right over and pick up that item. And then we can kind of build the rooms together. I think it'll be really cool. Still waiting on my headphones update in this game, right? The sound of the crash over here. Yeah, you know what? We do need some tunes. Good idea. Let's go. Where did my jukebox go? Yo, our latest member, Brittany. Give me a tune. Give me a KK tune. That's a good idea. Did I sell it? Brittany! Four wide, five deep, Guillermo. Interesting. Wait, this is not my house. <laughs> this is not my house. <laughs> Peach baby! Alright, where you at, Brittany? Leave Brittany alone. Yeah, you better pick a good one. J? Let's see. Uh, hmm. 
Oh, I don't know if Brittany's watching anymore. Uh-oh, we may have to take our next member. Abby Rose, you around? Abby, you here? Abby! I see you there. KK House, all right, you got it. KK House, good, good choice. All right, KK House. Oh, I guess I'm gonna put it right here. Good one. I think it's on the loudest setting, so we'll see. It slaps. You know, I see a lot of people using that terminology nowadays. I think that's a 2020 thing. No one ever, in 2019 or prior, has ever described music as it slapping. <laughs> the crazy thing kids come up with, right? It slaps. I slaps anyone who says that. I almost want to slap someone if they if they say that, truly. Is that just because we're old? <laughs> we, speak for yourself, Abdallah. I'm young. <laughs> uh, I don't know, you tell me. Do you remember anyone saying that? Not to poke fun, I'm just having a conversation. Bum 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 bum. It's a bopper. It's a banger. Chew knee? What the heck is chew knee? Never heard that. Slapping. You know there's a there's a hot there's a hot sauce called slap yo mama, isn't it? <laughs> yo, and that stuff slaps literally because the hot sauce is named, is, is called Slap Yo Mama. There's a donkey on it. You guys should actually do a Google search. Slap Yo Mama hot sauce. And that literally slaps. Because you just pour some, you pour one out for your mom. And then as soon as... <laughs> as soon as she takes a bite of it, boom, she gets slapped in the mouth. Because, uh, yeah. So funny. Slap yo mama. Ooh! Ooh! Can't hold the diagonals, man. Did you guys actually look up slap yo mama? And now you have to order some. Hashtag not sponsored. Alright, here we go. <laughs> but don't actually slap your mother. Don't do that. Offer her the hot sauce. The hot sauce will do all the slapping. And then put on this music while she eats the hot sauce. Oh, this is a bad idea. Alright, let's do a little bit of vertical. Where's my headphones for this? Just Duncan, hold on. I gotta I gotta see what I'm trying here. Did I do this right? Mm, no. We're gonna do this one. We're gonna do this one. It's a rip off. No, I wasn't gonna do that. I'm trying to do these vertical lines here and sometimes it doesn't work. Mm. 
Yeah, the rocks are just crumbling on my head, too. Where'd the music go? The music's gone. Look at this. Oh, yeah, build it back. Why are we doing this? I don't know. We're gonna be building a new town with a, a very new theme, and I want it to be revered. I want it to be the best town you've never seen in your life. And it's going to be really fun for a niche group of fans who will understand every reference. Audi, come on down from up there. Audi, Dig Dug over here, man. Yeah, there's no way. Audi can't jump either. Oh gosh, how are we gonna get her down? This is bad. Because then there's gonna be one little area that I can't even break because Audi's gonna be standing on it. Great. What's up, Tiffany G? Hello, Tiffany G. Welcome. Thank you so much for the super chat. Pikmin Explorer 89. Hey, what's happening? You like Pikmin? Excited for Pikmin 3 Remake? I don't know if I'm excited for Pikmin 3 Remake, to be honest. I'm excited to play them all again. We've got like a month or so. I don't know if I'm pumped up for it. Like, I'm excited for like new missions and whatnot. Am I excited for online leaderboards? No. Do 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 do. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's go. I'm actually getting kind of hungry too, so I like I want to finish this up so I can eat some lunch. Make a pathway for Audi to safely get to the staircase. No, thank you. Audie will walk in a straight line that I allow her on. And then it'll get smaller and smaller and smaller. And we will go into a house and she will despawn off of the pillar. I'm not going to waste my time pushing Audie to the side. And plus, she's my best friend. Why would I push her? That's rude. You know they get upset when you push them around. We're just gonna do this so I know where we need to go. Sometimes you get a little, a little burnt out of hitting these things a billion times, but it's gonna be worth it. Will I throw a party with everyone when I'm done with the island, James? Yeah, let's throw a party. You guys can uh, all hang out in the dream address. Uh-oh, Audie, you're sealing. Oh, dang it, I almost had her. Where's she going? What? Dang it, Audie, you have like a nine square around you, apparently. That's unfortunate. She's got like a nine square around her body that the game does not allow me to even terraform, so... Audi is a tree confirmed, yeah, absolutely. So what's for lunch, guys? What do you guys have, leftovers today? Anything good? Oh, 
she's she's oh she's almost there. Nope, don't. Ah, you know. You're smart. Too smart for your own good. Dang it. Try this one then. Pistachios, rice and egg, grapes or pizza? Oh my gosh, I'm starving, man. Chicken tenders. Oh, yo, chicken tenders? Let's talk about chicken tenders. Homemade? Mm. Put a little honey on those chicken tenders? Yeah, Mike's hot honey? Yeah, let's talk about that. Three gummy worms. What, Jamie? No, you can't eat three gummy worms. A quesadilla? Fried chicken. Jack in the box nuggets? Oh, yuck. You're joking, right? Sorry, I can't really say I'm a competent judge when it comes to Jack in the box. I've only been there once and I never went back. We don't have Jack in the box here in Chicago. Thank goodness. Leftover pork fried rice. Interesting. I made some fried rice the other day. It was good. It was good. I, um, I made rice one day, and then like with, with fried rice, apparently it's really good if you have day-old rice for the fried rice. I don't know why that is. Day-old rice? Then you make fried rice with it? Okay, sure. Uh, so yeah, I made that. It was pretty cool. And is very tasty with like a scrambled egg inside oh so good there we go audino beautiful exactly where i want you coming right over to these lanes nope she knows yeah now what now what audino <laughs> Stop moving, tree. <laughs> That's funny. You had Buffalo Wild Wings last night? Oh, Buffalo Wild Wings is cool. I like that place. They have specials like every day of the week or something. It's pretty tasty. There we go. Perfect. Hey! Hi. You stay there now. Nice knowing you. Let's see if she teleports off. We'll continue our work. Ah. <laughs> I'll give you some music to listen to. Is that thing on? There we go, beautiful. Why does everything must go? Why not? Sometimes you get the the urge to stop dragging your feet on something and you just go out and do it. And that's exactly what we're doing today. Science Island is no more, but we're gonna build something cool. Hmm. Oh, tell me more about local foods that you guys like to eat. I'm starving, can you tell? Tell me more about the local foods that you guys have. What's nearby you and what do you like to get? Let's talk about that. Instant ramen? Ah, no. Too much salt, man. I used to live on, like, cup noodles. I used to live on cup noodles, man. It was like less than a dollar a piece you get at the grocery store. It's like an entire meal. And then you start looking at, like, the sodium content in there. It's like you're just eating trash food. 
try to tell that to my nephew. My nephew is like obsessed with cup ramen and whatnot. It's like, ugh. Oh, you got portals? Allie, you got portals near you? Dang. Allie got portals. I love portals. Portillos, I call it portals. Portillos. Just wanted to go out to Portillos yesterday. And I said, no, we can't go to Portillos. Why would we go to Portillos? She wanted to go because she wanted to get a chocolate cake shake or like the lemon cake shake. I think that's what they have now. Yeah, break it. Portillos is a, is a Chicago burger chain. Uh, that's just really good. So like if you go to Chicago, you get your deep dish pizza, eye roll, right? And then you get Portillo's, which is like Italian beef sandwiches, hot dogs, burgers, you name it, french fries. It's really good. Uh, you'll be more amazing helping others on Nookazon. Renew Super Yan Love Strong. I don't know what that means. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, yeah, thank you for the super chat, though. That was nice. But yeah, Portillo's, they have something called a chocolate cake shake where they literally take a piece of chocolate cake, a big old piece of chocolate cake. It's gotta be at least three layers of cake. And then they put it inside the blender along with ice cream and whatnot. And there's literally a piece of chocolate cake inside your shake. So they do that with like a lemon cake shake now. So like you eat this shake and at the, at the bottom of it, you just grab a spoon and you're eating this cake now. It's so good. Yeah, making me want that now, huh? Dang. What is Sweet Lou's? Tell me, Queen of Gondor. Where is Sweet Lou's? I've never heard of it. What is this? Fried mushrooms and Philly beef? Eh, Philly beef's all right. Tim Hortons. Yeah, I think we have a Tim Horton. It's a steakhouse, isn't it? Oh, yes, that's right. Arizona does have Portillo's. That's right. That's right. When I visited uh, my in-laws in Arizona, they wanted to go to Portillo's. And I said, no, we have Portillo's at home. Why would, why would I eat, why would I waste a meal? But it's cool that Arizona has one. Yeah, yeah, so you guys know what's up. Go to Portillo's, it's a good one. What's up, Posh Pete? How are you? Every time I hear about UK's cuisine and what you guys don't have, it makes me sad. It makes me sad a little bit. So there's gotta be someone out there that, that is like completely on the opposite spectrum of UK's cuisine that is going to tell me that, oh my gosh, you should come to UK. We've got the best food over here. I don't know, man. It makes me sad hearing about it, right? Like if I, I'm spoiled, right? Chicago, Chicago and Cali and New York are like the best food capitals of the United States. And if we were ever to leave, it would be so so bad because we're so spoiled <laughs> oh Audi didn't figure out a way down dang it we're limited to what is allowed here we have a sugar tax that's awesome good United States needs a sugar tax. Tell me more about this sugar tax. I'm intrigued. How does it work? United States need a sugar tax for sure. <laughs> what does that mean? As in like, you can't have... They tax you on the amount of sugar in your stuff? Ah, oh, this is very intriguing to me. Tell me more. Yeah, I don't know. All the nice food is so much more expensive. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, so everything, like in McDonald's, it costs you extra money, Lisa, to get a regular Coke versus a Diet Coke. You know, I think that's that's good. So you don't become like the obese Americans across the pond, right? Is that is that the the mindset behind it? 
or are is is just importing sugar just really taxing on the economy which one is it maybe it's both i don't know are there like sugar farms where you guys grow sugar in the uk is it like a a staple there interesting Seattle has a sugar tax too. Oh, that's crazy. Didn't realize that. I know in, in uh, we used to, I don't, I think we do. I think we still do. We've got like a bottled water tax in Chicago. We've got a plastic bag tax. If you check out with like the plastic bags at a grocery store, like they charge you for them now in Chicago. This is interesting. It's good. It's good for the environment. Like do it. Yeah, the bag tax is interesting. The sugar tax is very intriguing to me. That That is amazing. I think the United States needs that, for sure. I was going through my pantry yesterday with Jess, and I'm like, we've got this shelf, which is like a snack shelf in our pantry. I think every time we're like hungry, we'd have a snack or something. I'm like, what's inside this? It's a mystery. Like, we're looking in here, there's like all sorts of weird Japanese candy and like all the ube treats that we bought from the Filipino uh, grocery store. Like, what's in here? Are we eating any of this stuff? Like, threw out a whole bunch of stuff that we don't even need. I'm like, come on. Yeah, water uh, water bottle tax in Chicago is big. Yeah, people were upset. It was at least five, six years ago. Maybe, like, ten years ago. No, legit ten years ago. When it was introduced in Chicago. And so, if you bought a case of water, a case of water that would normally, like, a 24-pack of water that would normally cost you, like, four bucks was, like, ten dollars. And nobody liked that. So just people just stop buying it. And that's the way it should be. Thank you. Right? Save the environment. It's as easy as that. Right? People, not everyone recycles that stuff. So, it's bad. Alright, we got two more little areas. Then I'm going to go get rid of all of these flowers. And then we're going to call it a day today. Thanks so much for hanging out. Jill, what's up? North End in Boston is amazing. Also, thanks in, thanks for making such informative, fun videos. Have a great day. Hey, Jill, you know, I go to Boston at least once a year. Not in 2020, you know, for obvious reasons. But you've heard of Boston Burger Company, I presume. That is the, like, honestly, it is the best burger I've ever had in my life at Boston Burger Company. You can look it up. I think it's in, I don't know. I don't really remember where it is in, like, when you say Northern Boston. But Boston Burger Co., there's at least, like, three three outlets of that. Three restaurants. It's good. You gotta go try it. They've got a burger called the 420 Burger. I don't know what those numbers mean. But anyway, the 420 Burger, oh my gosh. It's, like, it's a burger with a fried egg on it. I think there's, like, two mozzarella sticks on it. There's... On, like two onion rings on it it's on a pretzel bun and there's like the gold barbecue sauce it's the best it's the best Waba Grill Rebecca you gotta tell me next time I'm in Cali you gotta tell me about Waba I don't know about that gold barbecue sauce you've oh Holly you've never had gold oh my gosh woohoo Sup, Audie? Alright, let's go. Mmm, a gold, like a Carolina gold barbecue sauce. So good. Let's, I'm so hungry now. I need to go. I need to get these flowers out of my face. Get these flowers out of here. Please take them so I can end the stream and go eat some lunch. I don't think it's mustard-based. No, 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 no. There could be mustard-based. Look it up. Look up California Gold uh, barbecue sauce. I don't know what the base is on it. All I know is that it complements the mozzarella sticks and the burger. I had one. Oh my gosh. Every time I go to Boston, I gotta go to Boston Burger Company. And they're, they're like pretty busy all the time.
so good. You can get it at Trader Joe's. You can get it, yeah. Go to your local Trader Joe's, and I, I believe they will have a Carolina Gold barbecue sauce, for sure. What's up, LC? What's going on? Will I play Super Mario Maker 2 again? Uh, maybe. I mean, there's really no demand for it right now. At least not for me. Um, but thank you. I'm glad that uh, you've been enjoying the content for so long. Absolutely. Thank you. If you like Walmart in America, come to ASDA in Scotland. I don't know anyone that likes Walmart in America. <laughs> wow, I'm sorry. I'm going to offend a lot of people with that one. No. I won't be caught dead going into a Walmart. Because we have better options. How about we just put it that way? We have better options to spend my money. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> oh man, that's some big yikes there. Alright, anyway, let's move on. Here we go. I'm visiting. Give me a dodo code in the comments, I'll visit it. Asda? What a weird name. Does that mean something? Alright, get ready. <laughs> oh man. Woo. Out of all the comments to read, we read a Walmart comment. Yikes. Anyway, Dodo Code's in the chat. What do we got? Give me a Dodo Code right now. <laughs> AVDSM in Yokai Watch 3. That was me. Yeah, that was my that was my shout out. Okay. Let's go to this town. I don't think I've ever been here before. Just random dodo in the comments. I hope you enjoy the flowers. I really hope you do. Hey, got it. I'm coming. I'm coming. Here we go. So I did have one snack that I brought with me over here. I didn't really want to eat it. But uh, this, some of you guys may recognize this. This is called Corn Pits. It's by by Pinoy. <laughs> Can you guys know what this is? Corn Pits. Corn Snack. Walla Paring Tatalo. Sa Corn Pits. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Some of you guys know this? Tell me. Tell me everything you know about corn bits. It says 70G. 70G BBQ flavor on it. All right, Chini, you know what's up. Chini knows it. It does, absolutely. We go, like, I swear, once a month, we'll go to the Filipino grocery store and just stock up on awesomeness. It's the coolest place you've never been to. So you guys know what this is. Cool. Whatever happened to Boy Wang though? Boy Wang. That's my guy. <laughs> it was good. Alright, close that gate. Oh, cool. Cool town. Oh, I'm telling you. Ever since Carly told me about the Filipino grocery store, that was like the coolest thing ever. 
I lived my entire life without ever stepping foot into a Filipino grocery store. How did I live my life? Oh, you know Boy Bawang. <laughs> this is awesome. Someone's actually speaking my language. Like, sometimes I call Enjamin Boy Bawang. Boy Bawang. I have not had lum Lumpia. No, I did not have that. No, we just go for, like, the cool little snacks that are available. Who are you? Nice hat, by the way. But every time we go there, we get a hollow hollow, and it's uh, it's really tasty. I'm gonna give you some clay. I hope you don't mind. And a bee's nest. And I need my manhole cover. Cool island. Look at that. A little balloon. All right. Teach me the way to your door. Marshall, huh? Okay. Cool. Dang. Yo, that's some boy Bawang. Enderman is little boy Bawang around the house. That's what we call him. All right. Super cool. Well, enjoy the flowers. I hope you uh, enjoy them. Mmm. <laughs> You used to sell Hollow Hollow every summer back in the Philippines? Whoa, that's awesome. I was just like, we were just told about what they were. Our first Hollow Hollow was from like the Valerio's Bake Shop. And it was okay. And then they have like this, this like grill on the inside of the Valerio's like supermarket. And uh, it was like $8 or something like that. I got myself a Taro Hollow Hollow. It was so good. So good. Forgive me for snacking. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast, and we've been streaming for three hours. I'm starving like my middle name. What are these holes doing here? Audie! Where are you, Audie? Where is Audie? She has one job. All right, let's get rid of these uh, flowers, and we'll call it. Flowers. Huh. I wonder what people are going to do with all these flowers. Wait a second. Audie, dang. <laughs> the flyby erased all of the empty holes. What do you know? Look at those two dogs chasing after a bug. Just like in real life. Did you guys hear something? All I heard was a bully. Oreo. No. He doesn't listen to my no. Can you stop, guy? I'm gonna throw this glue shell at you. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this pillowy soft blue shell at you. Meow. Oreo. He's a bully to Enderman yesterday. He was beating him up. When I was in the middle of recording some Dream Island stuff yesterday. Like, I heard, like, a whole bunch of, like, running around and, like, bumping into stuff and just, like, you know, if you guys have cats, you know the sound of cats running around like crazy. So, I'm like, all right, that's fine. Then I hear, like, some big yells, like, meow, meow. I'm like, what is going on? 
My beautiful family! There's never this much unrest. What's going on, right? So I go upstairs and there's like clumps of fur all over the place. I'm like, oh, great. And then Oreo's tail is completely poofed. And Enderman is hiding underneath the chair. And I say, oh, my poor child. And I reach down to, you know, console Enderman and he hisses at my hand. I'm like, oh my gosh, what have you done to my boy? My little boy, Pawang. How dare you? All right, anyway. Uh, yeah, I'll give you this Lily of the Valley. I don't care about it. You'll get a Lily of the Valley, and then uh, these bushes, they're all messed up. And there's no way to tell what bush is what. It's fine. Alright, next house. Yeah, Enzo did not do anything to deserve it. Oh, and I was going to give you guys a quick update on the litter robot. Some t I don't know, how many of you guys remember my uh, litter, ro litter robot story? So the litter robot. The litter robot is tough, right? It's a tough thing. Because you got these cats that have been pooping in litter boxes for like, since they were babies. And now you're going to tell these cats to poop into this weird looking washer machine looking thing? Yeah. Way harder than you think. Um, so, yeah. So we bought a litter robot and there's four cats in the house and it's super hard. Because the four cats, we don't know who's using it and who's not. Right? So, it's just really, it's really tough to find out. Anyway, let me visit this dodo code really quick and then we're gonna go. Oh dang, we got drumsticks, dang. Some people closed off their, uh, their stuff. Hold on one second. I'm going to go see what the cat's doing. Give me a second. the culprit <laughs> sorry <laughs> all right dodo codes i have to catch the culprit so there's a culprit and i have to find him so the whole concept of the litter robot is you're supposed to put the litter robot and fill it up with their previous litter that already has their sense in it or whatever you're supposed to fill that fill that up and you're all supposed to leave, you're supposed to leave another litter box near it, but never change it. So that when the cats decide to go and do their business, they have this clean option that smells better. Or they have this nasty, dirty option that they've used before. So naturally, they're supposed to gravitate towards the litter robot. And then you phase out the old litter box, right? That's the, that's the mindset, right? On paper. So we're doing that. But there's a culprit. There's a culprit who's not wanting to do anything with that entire... Just wants nothing to do with it. So we gotta find out which one of the cats is being the culprit. And I woke up today. And I said, Jess? And she's like, what? And I said... There's something on the carpet in my basement for you. <laughs> and I said, which one of you cats left us a present over here? Who's the culprit? So I got really upset. 
So I don't know exactly who, um, I don't know which cat is just being the cat that's not doing it. All right, where are we going? Where am I, where am I going? Uh, let's do this one. So that's kind of what we're at. And then Jess is like, don't you have a, like an extra camp? Oh my gosh, everyone with drumsticks. Seriously, what is going on? I tried, I tried, I legit tried right now on this post. Let's try again. All right, last try. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Just like, don't you have an extra camera? Don't you have a big memory card? Can't you just like hook up a camera and then like just record it? So we find out which cat it is. I said, all right, fine. Let's say we find the culprit who is not wanting to go to the bathroom in the litter robot. Then what, right? So that's what we're kind of in a predicament. It's like once we find out who it is, and everyone else is using it. How do we deal with that? How do I deal with that, right? It's weird. It's weird. What do you do? If you were in my situation, how would you deal with that? And here's what I, I pitched back at Jess. I said, oh, uh, logistics. I don't have a big enough memory card that's just going to sit there and, like, record. And then, for one, I don't have the time to sift through all the recordings. <laughs> just like... <laughs> so, a light bulb popped off. And I said, what if I made a live stream? <laughs> what if I made, like, a 24-hour... Find the culprit live stream. And Jess said, you're really going to subject your entire YouTube audience to a camera that's pointing at the litter robot to see which cats use it and which ones don't. I said, well, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. What do you take me for? What do you take me for? Why would I do that to someone? No one would be interested in watching that and finding the culprit. <laughs> and then I said, it would just be an unlisted live stream and then I could sift through the footage afterwards, right? And then that way I don't have to worry about changing a battery, changing a memory card. It'll just all be on YouTube. At least 11 and a half, 12 hours of it, right? I don't know. I'm fresh out of ideas. <laughs> Who's gonna... Hands up if you'd watch that. You'd probably watch for like 10 minutes. Reminds me of that Pokemon live stream of that stupid forest. Where like a Galarian Ponyta came out. This person just chilling here. What's up, Tiffany? Oh, you got that penguin, I see. Why? Don't look at me. And that's the culprit right there. I'm telling you. But there's just something inside me that thinks it's Andrew. I came on trying to blame Oreo. <laughs> I'm so guilty of it. Like, yeah, you're a cat. This cat that you brought into our house. Which, by the way, you should come over here and adopt this cat and put me out of my misery, please. Me and Enderman. It's a daddy baby club. Anyway, so that's probably what I'm going to do. Once I find my old webcam, I'll probably make it an unlisted live stream. Like, I don't really want to bore people. Like, it'll be unlisted, and I'll probably just push it out on my Twitter or community, saying, hey, if you want to help me find the culprit, feel free. And give me a timestamp of when it happened. <laughs> 
And no one falsely accusing my Enderman, all right? Because he's a he's a gentle boy, and he's the smartest cat. Do I have to dig in order to plant that? Oh no, these bushes just plant themselves. Oh cool. It'll be a secret live stream. Okay, that's that's exactly it. It'll be a secret live stream between you and I. Not like pushing out to everyone. So if you're watching the stream right now, then you already know what's gonna happen soon. No, but we gotta come up with a game plan. Gotta figure it out. All right, here we go. Oh, nice mask. Oh, cool, looks good on you. The mask looks good on you. Okay, ladies and gents, I think we're gonna call it a day. We're gonna call it a day and I'm gonna go get some of that big lunch. I gotta go out and get some exercise too. It's already three o'clock. What in the actual world? Why is it three o'clock? Man, time flies when you're uh, playing Animal Crossing, right? Beautiful flyby. Hmm. <laughs> I could order another manhole cover. We're good. Hey, Raymond. Instead of looking pretty over there, why don't you fill in those holes for me? Raymond, did you do your job? You did. Oh, what a good guy. I gotta get rid of these bushes. Can you plant bushes on the beach? Look at this new wonderful island. Oh, it looks so great. Audie, you still there? No, Audie's not there anymore. Fully grown bushes you can put on the on the side. That's good. Good to know. Thank you. Audie found her way off. I told you she would. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm just thinking of this live stream, right? I'm just honestly thinking about it. Like at what time of the day? This is where jukebox belong, by the way. That's the only spot where a jukebox belongs. Okay, what else? Anything else? Uh, these houses are all ready. Oh, these bridges that lead to, whoa, look at me. <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're good. Our island looks completely done. I gotta get rid of some random things for sure. I gotta go pick up all my monsters. Oh, let me go pick up my monsters really quick. And I should dig up these bushes. God, I wish I knew which border they were all in. Wow. What the heck, man? What is going on? Bushes. Stop digging in the holes, man. Just go. What? You can bounce off a bush? No, you can't. That's illegal. 
I'm telling Tom Nook. I'm telling Tom Nook, man. Yeah, I'll put them all in order. It's just extra work I didn't want to have to do. These bushes are gonna break my shovel, they're so heavy. Not even. Bush just says, nope. Can't take me. Alright, here we go. One. Two. The last pieces, man. Is that a lot? Uh, it's kind of a lot. Almost done. Yo, these bushes, though. Alright, cool. We got some bushes happening. Alright, bush babies? Okay, so we got some hollies up in here. There we go. See, I only need two of each. So let's go sell whatever is not two of each and call it. Look at that. I can just go straight to the drop box. Beautiful. Okay, two of each. Uh, I don't need that. That, that. Um, that I need. Um, how about this? This will be a little bit easier. Two of each. Meaning, this goes away down here. It's got to be a little bit more visual. So I know what's what. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. That purple one. These things. Hydrangeas. Uh, teas. We've got these. Hibiscus. How many different types of bushes are there? Uh-oh, I don't want to miss one. Camellia, Camellia, right? Camellia, apparently is how you pronounce that one. That's it, right? Two, four, two, four, six, eight, ten different types of bushes, yeah? Am I looking at this right? Just the top two layers? Okay. Bush time. Wait, twelve? Uh-oh. Who am I missing? White azalea? Oh, white, wait, white azaleas are here, so I don't need those. Camellias are there. These are the yellow hibiscus. Okay, so that was the one I was missing. Okay, so hibiscus I will keep. White azaleas I don't need. Orange tea? Yellow and orange? Hold on. Orange tea I have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These guys I'm keeping. These blueberries? No, we don't do that. Yellow tea. 11, right? Okay, check this out. These guys. Yellow hibiscus. Done. That's all the bushes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11 breeds. Where's 12? Which one am I missing? Oh, great. Now the giant bush conundrum. Thanks, guy. Ah, whatever. I'll find whatever ones we don't have. I'll just buy them or trade for them. Doesn't matter. The Great Bush Conundrum. Because I'm too... Not wanting to figure it out. Alright, anyway. So, now that I have these bushes, you can't put them inside your... Dang it, dude. And you can't plant a bush in the... Dude, who told me you could plant a bush over here? Can't plant a full-grown bush on the beach? Oh, that's annoying. Whatever. You know what? I'm done. Who wants to hold on to these for me? I'm coming over. 
and I'll get them back from you. Just not not messing around. <laughs> the heck, man! All right, I'm coming over. Take these now. It's like the giant bush conundrum. No one knows how many bushes there are. No one knows how many, which ones I'm missing. It's just the mystery. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Don't go chopping these bushes down. I might come back for them. I was like, hey, do we remember who's holding on to these bushes? These shrubs? Alright, you know what to do. Hold on to them with your dear life. Whatever you do, do not let them go. And then find the other one that you're missing. Did he just call me pal? I'm not your pal. I'm absolutely not that dude's pal. If anyone. Not him. Be a pal. Alright, here we go. The flyby. Keep these bushes to remember me by. You remember me forever. Oh dang, it's a picture of a cat! Why do I why do I remember that picture of a cat? What's up, Bry Boy Games? Welcome, thanks. You got a big hippo too. I'll be making a water landing, but that's okay. I'll be making a water landing, but that's okay. Is it okay though? I don't think it is. Hello. Hello. What's up, dude? Where am I putting these bushes, man? Yo, I need bigger space than this. I need some need some wide open space. There we go. There's some this is bush bush tastic right here. Hollies. Isn't it right where you're standing? What? What you mean? Is it in front of you? Oh, weird. Okay, uh, sure. Polly. Camellia. Azalea. I don't have another Azalea. Excuse me, guy. Now look at what you made me do. <laughs> Get this guy. What's amazing? Your ability to stand where I need to be? You're amazing. Go. You can feel free to move about any of these bushes. Especially that one that I messed up over there. And get this duck out of here! It looked like Pac-Man! Dude, you're ducks! Get out of here! Oh my gosh! I'm just trying to plant these bushes, man. I'm trying to plant these bushes. Enjoy them. This duck? I'm gonna destroy this duck. This is gonna be what's for dinner. You can't move? I can't push him? Oh, interesting. 
How very interesting. Ugh. Here. I'll do you a solid. I'll pick these up for you. Ninja Man. Move your ducks. Duck party. Get them out of here. Ugh! That, blame the duck for that one. Shred, shred, shred. What? Oh my gosh, Crunchy Island Maze. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, you know what? Here. You move it. Alfonso is in here. Okay, cool. I like Alfonso. He's pretty good. Alright, dude. Enjoy the bushes. Um, make sure you uh, keep them nice and safe. I'm coming back for them. Where's your board? Here's your board. Alright, and with that, ladies and gents, I just gotta clean up my critters, and we're gonna call it. I love your vids. Hi, Abdallah. How did you see? How did you know I was coming? And how do you pronounce your name? What a cool dude. I like his island. How did you know I was coming? Alright, catch you later, bud. That was fun. I enjoyed that island. Not, e not everyone can say that they've had Abdallah run through their flowers. Keep that in mind. <laughs> not everyone can say that. Have you had the honor? Alright, let's go. Look at these guys, they're like, what happened to our island? Like, we loved living here. Alright, anything else? We just have my critters? And then I'm pretty much done. I gotta move all the towns over. Yeah, this is gonna be rough. Hello, you duck. That's clearly a dog. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're gonna drop that. There's Peach Baby. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna be the last one standing? Peach Baby or Tan Lines? These were all in alphabetical order, too. Just throwing it out there. Can you name all of them? I bet you can. As I'm going through right now, no one is that big of an Animal Crossing fan that they can name every single one of these as I'm picking them up. Even I can't. Except for that octopus. And that muscle. And the, uh, I don't know. And the something crab. And a scallop. And a sea, oh my gosh, too fast. Sea slug. Seaweed. Uh, sea jelly. Sea plane. Sea pineapple. Uh, starfish. Uh, sea urchin. Seaweed, uh, sea urchin, mm, sea crab, sea crab, sea lobster, seahorse, sea thing. Yeah, I can't. No way. No one can. Take the quiz. Ta da! Alright, did you guys get it right? Abalone, barnacle, chambered nautilus, dungeness crab, firefly squid, flatworm, gazam. Anyway, we're not playing this game. So, there is that in all alphabetical order. Hmm, where should I put them? Should I line the entire, uh, beach with my favorite things? Let's line South Beach. I think I could align up South Beach with 40 spots. Looks kind of, uh, yeah, kind of 40. Yeah, maybe. Uh, 
No, that's definitely not 40 spots, but it's still cool. South Beach, the home of all the abalone. Dang it! <laughs> Look at everyone out here just playing, uh, playing the games, right? Abalone. Firefly? Ah, no! Yo, that firefly squid fire flew up there. What the heck? How did he do that? Dang, that's why that's why they call him a firefly squid, little you know. Here's a flatworm. My little creatures. I love these little guys. Gazami crab. Giant isopod just kind of chills and watches you there. I love the I love that crab. That thing is awesome. And then there's a little eyeball guy. Yeah, I remember him. Moon jellyfish. Oh, moon jellyfish is cool, especially at nighttime. Here's a mussel. Ah. <laughs> Firefly done flew away. <laughs> Who uses the word done in the middle of a sentence like that? <laughs> that's that's very intriguing. Giant isopod is super scary because it just chills in there and it could be like, alright, cool, I'm your new villager. I just moved in. Nice to meet you. You gonna start giving me gifts or what? Red kinch crab. Ooh, the kinch crab is so big. Remember these things? Oh man, I'm having sweet memories of the brand new July update, right? Was that July? Kinji. Just decorating my beach with the critters, man. You gotta have a living dex. What, you guys don't have a living dex of all your critters? Am I the only one? Sea pig? Yo, that thing was squealing when I was swimming after it. I remember. Seaweed! Oh, seaweed sensei. Remember seaweed sensei? I don't think you do. I don't think you do remember a seaweed sensei. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, yuck! Ugh. It's the worst thing ever. Spider crab. Oh, no way, man! Like, there's just things in life that just should not exist. And look at that lobster just chilling out. He's like, yo, hey, I'm your new neighbor. Nice to meet you. Nice to e-meet you, all you guys in the comments. It's so scary, right? Tiger prawn, yummy. Tiger prawns are good. You guys ever have tiger prawns? You go to Costco and get some tiger prawns? I'm running out of space quickly. Uh oh. Oh, he's like a he's a wide one. Umbrella octopus vampire squidulus. Squidilius McCracken. Oh, I missed one. That's fine. Welk. Cool! Alright, so that's all my critters. That's my zoo, man. I love the zoo. All right, do we, are we missing anything else, guys? Is this it? Are we done? Here's a DIY that I was leaving for Jess, but uh, I guess I'll hold on to it. I'll slap it on the beach. Anything else? Speak now. 
Now we have to vote. We have to vote on Pink Baby. Pink Baby. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's my ladder. Pink Baby. Pink Baby, Baby. Yeah, that's it. Pink Baby or Tan Lines? The bell's behind Jess's house. Oh, that's right. Good idea, good idea. Gotta pick that up real quick. <laughs> you can't see the secret stash. Good, good memory. It's a lot of money we just made in a second. There we go. And I picked up her chase lounge. I think we're good. All right, who's gonna win? Pink baby or tan lines? Who is the last one standing? Our entire island has been completely flattened out, minus the little bridges and inclines or whatever. We can deal with that tomorrow. Uh, next up is going to be dealing with all of the inclines, removing my house. Everything goes to the beach. It's just what it is. Done. And then we're gonna we're gonna start building. It's gonna be amazing. All right, who's the last one standing? According to you guys, the most popular character is. Peach Baby. It's true. Why is that? Why do I like Pink Baby? Peach Baby. It's done. Peach Baby. But together, they must live in harmony. I don't know which one's which. Oh, this is tan lines. <laughs> they must live in harmony, overlooking the ocean. Hey, turn around, kid. Don't look at me. There we go. Deal. Mew. <laughs> Baby's first words. All right, I think we're set. I think we're set. This is it. The entire town has been flattened, minus all these little bridges and inclines. Everything's set. Tomorrow, we do the rest. And with that, I bid you a farewell. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys had a fun time today. It's always fun hanging out, talking about random things outside of Animal Crossing. So, I gotta press minus and save, right? It does do an auto save thing, so let's save and end. Anyway, you guys are amazing. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed all of this. I hope you kind of got an understanding of what it means to completely blow up your entire town. It's all gone. But now, what we have to do is we have to rebuild it all the way up. And that is gonna be fun. I hope that you guys will join me. <sighs> Boy, it's gonna be a tough one. All right. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys didn't already, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you guys on board. We're at 806,000 subscribers. That's amazing. Uh, if you guys like Animal Crossing content, feel free to do so. Other than that, if you guys want to drop me some uh, cool dream code addresses, I'll be definitely uh, recording some more of that stuff next week. But yeah, we did the Silent Hill one, which was a little creepy with the brain. Uh, and the actual, the person who built this island was in the comment section, which was really cool to see. So definitely check that out. Pokemon Island, Cannibal Island, Dream Address Exchange. There's a lot of things happening. So yeah, we blew up the island. It's gone. Now we just got to rebuild it. Anyway, thanks so much for coming. I hope you have a great rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow bright and early for the exact same kind of thing. But we're going to move everyone to the, uh, to the outside beaches so that we have the full area of how exactly we're going to line up everything. And it'll be so much fun. So thanks for being here. Just thanks for hanging out. You guys are amazing. And all of you guys that became members today, truly, thank you. There's about 14 of you guys that became members. That's huge. Thank you to each and every one of you. All right, we'll see you later. I'm going to get lunch. Talk to you later. Take care.